Hello friends. This is Fanfic Adventure. How are you all? So in this video, we will see, what if Naruto was the emperor of the Alvarez Empire? Here is short summary, inspired by the Snafu the Great and Aragon Prater. After succeeding in retrieving Sasuke, Naruto was banished from the Konoha due to injured Sasuke in mission and council's fear of the Akatsuki come after him. But before we start, if you want more amazing stuff like this, then be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Also if possible share this video with your friends. Now without wasting any more time. Let's begin the story. The retrieval that went after the traitor Uchiha Sasuke returned with their first S rank retrieval success. Of the six that were originally sent out to retrieve the Uchiha, four were critically injured, one was broken finger. Despite the various injuries four of them suffered they were all healing amazingly well without any lasting damage, thanks to the brilliant medical skill of the godime Hokage, Tsunade Senju. But in all of this there is one member in the retrieve team that was not given him any kind of treatment by any doctor or by Godem and her assistants, apprentice Shizune Keishio. He has worst injuries in this mission like several burn marks in the body along with broken bones and above all of them he have 2A rank assassination jutsu chidori, 1000 birds, which is above the heart on his which is done by the his teammate which he happened to retrieve from going to Orochimaru of the snake Sani. But his injuries recovering thanks to his clan bloodline which only left little scare on the, but still weak due to its injuries. Konoha Hospital It had been several days since Team Shikamaru had been returned from their successful S-rank retrieval mission. Uchiha Sasuke now lay in a hospital bed, strapped down with his chakra temporarily sealed off, along with his clan bloodline Sharingan. His curse seal was personally sealed by the Jiraiya making it nearly impossible for the Uchiha to use it. There were also two team of Anbu guards stationed outside the door and outside the windows on Tsunade orders so that Uchiha if he tried to escape from hospital to leave the village to join Orochimaru. Uchiha Sasuke couldn't do anything other than but to stare at the ceiling. A member of his team entered his hospital room with large grin on his face. In repose Sasuke turned to him and glared. He glared at the person who stopped him from obtaining power, the power he needed to avenge his clan, to kill the person who is clan that person being none other than Uzumaki Naruto. Naruto signed at the glared and looked at him. He hoped that his teammate would come to his senses and realize what Orochimaru's true intentions were. Unfortunately, revenge makes him blind. Are you all right Sasuke? How are you feeling? Naruto asked. What do you think? Sasuke growled. Well I did say that I was going to break your arms and legs and drag you back to the village if I had to, Naruto joked. Sasuke struggled and thrushes on the bed, trying to get free from his bonds as he jerked forward. You think this is funny dope? Do you? Look what you do to me. My chakra, the crew seal and my sharingan are all sealed and now I'm strapped to this ing bed. Sasuke roared. I told you that I wasn't going to let you go to Orochimaru, answered Naruto. I'm trying to protect you from him and I was trying to save you from yourself. Do you really think really think that he would have give you power to kill your father without a price? Think about it Tem. If I wasn't strapped to this ing bed I'd kill you right now, Sasuke sneered. What? Asked a surprised Naruto. I'll kill you if I ever see you again dope, I'll kill you, snarled Sasuke. Damn it Sasuke, I'm trying to help you, Naruto shouted. I don't need your help. I don't need Konoha. I don't need anything except the power to kill my father. That's all I care about. You dare to lecture me. I'm the Avenger and will always be a dope. Sasuke spat venomously. You will never understand how I feel, you were born with nothing. No parents, no family, no clan, I had all that and then it was taken away from me for the person I admire the most in the world, to the person I wanted to be like and surpass more than anything, my ing father. So don't you dare think you understand me, or how I feel because you'll never be able to comprehend what it's like to have everything you cherish away from you. Because you dope, never had anything to begin with, I don't want you, or anyone else's help. All I want power, now get out of my sight, Sasuke roared. Naruto just look him with sadly, he may not consider him as a friend but he still consider him as fellow Konoha ninja. He now everything that happened night of Uchiha massacred and know very well when he was young he look up to his father as a hero. Sasuke wanted to like him, he want his father acknowledge him, he want to stand with him shoulder to shoulder to face their enemy, 
but all in all he wanted to suppress his father no matter what and show him that he is really his son but it all changed when he massacred whole Uchiha clan in single night except Sasuke. I just hope you will understand Sasuke. There is nothing you will get from revenge it only leads you in the path which is darkness. You don't understand if you keep walking in this path then you will not only hurt yourself but also hurt those who still wanted to help you. I just hope you understand but it's look like there is nothing I or even anybody does about your darkness. I just hope you will find some closer to your feeling after you kill your father but if not then I have step up to bring you down. Not for your safety but for world. Naruto said himself in his mind. Naruto just sighed and left the room. The next day. Naruto just stood at the Team 7's meeting point for waiting Sakura. Soon, enough she came into view. Thinking C was going to thank him for bringing Sasuke back, he put on his trademark grin and walked to greet her. Hey Saku, was as far as he got before she lashed out at him with left hook, straight to the side of his face. His head reeked back as an expression of shock contorted his features. A shaking hand reached to hold his stringing cheek. How could you do that to Sasuke-kun? She screeched. I asked to bring him back and what you do? You almost kill him, she yelled breathing heavily, glaring daggers into eyes. It's miracle that he alive to recover for active duty for what you did. I thought you were his friend. Sakura proceeded to punch and kick him for ten minutes before her rage ran its course. Naruto, being Naruto, sat there and took it, never once raising his fists to defend himself or strike back. Sakura looked down on him and spat at him, I hate you, Uzumaki Naruto. I was right you are nothing but a monster. I don't want to see you again, demon. She turned and stomped away. If she'd stay any longer, she have heard his heart breaking and seen the tears fall from his face. I'm not a monster. I'm not a demon. I'm just a jailer not a prisoner. Naruto tell himself in mind. You are not a monster or a demon kit. You are Uzumaki Naruto or should I say Namikaze Uzumaki Naruto son of Namikaze Minato and Uzumaki Kashina princess of Whirlpool village from Uzu no Kuni land of Whirlpool. You are the Jinchuriki of the Kyubi no Yoko, Nine Tails Demon Fox remember that kit. Kyubi told him. A few hours later in Konoha council room Naruto had been summoned to council chamber. Do you wish to speak with me? Naruto said in a dead, miserable tone. This caught several people in council off guard, especially Hiyashi, Shikaku, Chuza, Inoichi, and Unaki. This was not like usual loud, hyperactive young ninja, who always wore a smile no matter what happened. What wrong with Naruto? He's not himself, something must have happened. I'll have to ask when we're done here. Thought of Hiyashi, Shikaku, Chuza, Inoichi, and Unaki. Elder council member Mitokado Homura answered Naruto. Yes, we summoned you here, he said, the council has finished reading reports that were given to us by you and your teammates, the Suna team, as well as Rock Lee and your sensei, Hitaki Kakashi's report. Although we're pleased that a mission of this level successfully completed by a fresh ordained Chunin and a team of four Genin, we have some concerns regarding the reports on the battle between you and your teammates Uchiha Sasuke. He continued, peering at Naruto over the rim of his glasses. What concerns? Asked Naruto, where sick, cold feeling wormed its way into gut. What has this concerned is fact that you used a large amount of Kyubi's chakra in your battle and caused great destruction in the Valley of the End, replied Elder Council member Udatane Kaharu. I had no choice, Sasuke using the power of the crew's seal, and in order to hold him back, and subdue him, I need to access the Kyubi chakra. Plus, I was trying to capture him while he was trying to kill me, which is I can prove right now. Naruto lift his shirt and showed the council the scare of the two Chidori, 1000 birds, that Sasuke rammed through his in which one is very close to his heart. Several of the assemble clan head Akamichi Choza, Nara Shikaku and Inazuka Sum, could not help but feel for the boys since their sons had been on that team. One of them is critically wounded, like Naruto and many others were severely hurt. While that is acceptable, Uzumaki, we still have our concerns, namely the word of your report. Specifically when you were calling Kyubi's chakra, you stated that you were feeling a great deal of anger and rage. You also mentioned that Kyubi's chakra served to intensify your anger, which, according to reports, led to Uchiha Sasuke's current condition. Said the old one-eye elder Shimura Danzo. 
We're aware that this isn't the first time we're on the verge of losing control of yourself when you're using Kyubi's chakra. The report of Team 7's mission to Nami no Kuni, Land of Wave mentioned your struggles against Hyoden, Ice Release, user, partner of AA rank missing ninja Momochi Zabuza, in which as stated by your sensei Hitaki Kakashi you released a large amount of the Kyubi's chakra and nearly lost control. However before you fully lost control your teammate Uchiha Sasuke who happens to awaken his Sharingan were easily able to subdue you with the help of Kakashi after they kill Zabuza and Hyoden user and were come back to sense after some time. This time however, you unable to stop yourself before severally injuring Uchiha Sasuke, which is the reason for this meeting. Danzo finished, studying the young blonde intently with I. Now hold on just a minute. Inoichi broke in slamming his fists on the table. You're trying and pin any of the trouble that has been caused by the Uchiha on Naruto. He may have Kyubi's chakra but he clearly has it under control, as he demonstrated in Chunin exams, where he defeated Hyuga Neji without causing him any under harm. His apprenticeship to Lord Jiraiya should be more than enough to abate any fears or concerns. Shouted Inoichi. With all due respect, Jiraiya's training with container has not given us the desired result. Clearly the boy's emotions are linked to his ability to call upon the demon's power and since he is unable to control his emotions, he cannot control powerful enough amount of demonic chakra without losing control of his actions. The Uchiha's injuries are the proof enough to attest to this. Consider this. Danzo said, the container has repeatedly mentioned that he sees Sasuke as his closest friend. If, in the lack of control, he damaged his friend this much, what does that say about the damage he could deal to Konoha Shinobi to whom he has no connection, should be once again lose control. I've to say this would not have happened if Serutobi had not disbanded my root division or if he'd given to me the chance to raise and train the boy properly. He finished. If Sandame had allowed that, Naruto would we have been nothing more than your personal puppet, Inoichi growled. I want nothing more to train the container to become the prefect weapon for Konoha, and despite what you think of me, I always have the best interest of Konoha at heart, stated Danzo calmly. More like your own interest, if you ask me, Sume growled out. She never liked the old war hawk, he treated like shinobi like disposable tools and wouldn't hesitate to send them in suicide mission or abandon them if it suited to his own needs. It was fact that disgusted Sume since her clan valued comradeship above all else but not in the case of Naruto. In her heart she always sees Naruto as a tool for war which they can use whenever they want, she not even consider him as a child, that's why she evenly made his life as so miserable when he was young but stop when he became shinobi. Danzo narrowed his eye in Sume, but said nothing. Tsunade, we must consider the threat of the organization that Jiraiya reported to us, the Akatsuki, which is made up of 9s rank missing nins. One of them member is Uchiha Fugaku and formal member of your teammate Orochimaru. Kaharu stated, watching Tsunade who was still say nothing just sitting on Hokage seat listening everything but keeping her eyes close. We are great disadvantage against them. We've little to no information with regards to their goals, besides the fact that they after the biju, not to mention that over own state of weakness from invasion of Suna hidden in the sand, and Odo hidden in the sound. They can easily attack us again to obtain the Kyubi container, just as they attempt last time with Uchiha Fugaku and Hoshigaki Kisame when they infiltrated the village. But this time all nine members may attack the village, and we would most likely be destroyed in the resulting battle. That is why I believe we should eliminate that threat to the village right here, and now, said Kaharu, eyeing Naruto as she concluded her speech. Naruto suddenly have terrible feeling wash over him, they meant him. And what proposed to do this, how? drawled Shikaku, not liking the direction things were going. Simple. As I said the Akatsuki want the biju and they'll stop at nothing until they've obtained them all. Therefore, as long as we have the Kyubi, we are in danger. What I suggest is we banish the container so that Konoha itself will no longer be a target. Kaharu responded. And no, we'll not allow this. We'll not allow all of you to banish one of our most loyal shinobi simply because you're afraid to fight the Akatsuki. You can't do this, as fellow council members, we forbid it. Roared Inoichi, Chuza, Shikaku, Unkai and surprisingly Hiyashi and even Konoha Anbu commander. When Naruto heard the Kaharu's plan he felt like his heart was going to stop. He met her once or twice when he was younger, visiting the old man. 
She and Homura treated him like the plague. Those two elders' tolerance of his existence was just barely present, and he'd received many glares from them, for his pranks, or his casual way to Sandama's, Gigi. But when Inoichi, Choza, Shikaku, Unkai, Hiyashi and Anbu commander stated to shout that they would not allow them to kill him, hope started to rise in Naruto. He knew that all those clan member were not allow anything happen to him as well as Tsunade who is Hokage will also protected him and Hokage would have final say and she and other would never banish him. But when a small evil smirk appeared on Kaharu's wrinkled old face that hope shattered. I'm afraid you were wrong fellow council member. We can do this, you see. In the village recorded by the Tsunade grandfather the Shodaim Hokage and granduncle the Nadaim Hokage. It is stated that when there is a situation that threatens the safety of the village and the Hokage or even clan's council is unwilling, or incapable of dealing with it, then the village civilian council may overrule the Hokage and clan's council on the decision on how to deal with situation, so long as majority of council in favor of it. Said Kaharu, still maintaining her smirk. What all Naruto supporters roared in disbelief. Wait. Even if we banish the boy all we're doing is handing him to Akatsuki. This plan if it can be called that will not eliminate the threat the Akatsuki poses. All this is due, give them more power and further aid to their goals, making them even bigger threat than they are now. I also disagree both fundamental and professionally, with your blasé treatment of Naruto. To just throw a younger ninja of our village to the wolves in this manner, in spite of all that be accomplished, is an insult and is everything that Konoha stands for. Declared Chuza, righteous anger. Naruto smiled and glad that he had some supported, and happy. That not a boy. He is a demon, monster, abomination, plain and simple. Look what he did to Uchiha-sama. If we don't do anything then he will even try to harm my little princess because he has huge crush on her. Shouted out Haruno Mebuki, head of Konoha Merchant Guild. She is mother of Haruna Sakura. She hates Naruto because he is the son of Namikaze Minato and Uzumaki Kashina. When Minato was grant title as Konoha no Kirwa Senko, Konoha's Yellow Flash, who wins the third great ninja war by himself. On that time she was trying to marry him because he was going to the future Yandaimi Hokage. She even goes so far to announce that she is going to be Yandaimi wife in public but all dream was crushed when she find out that Minato marry Kashina before the two year before the war is over and Kashina is pregnant with Minato's son. But when Kayubi attacked 12 years ago and find that Minato and Kashina is dead with their newborn child report to dead after born. But when Sandame announced that Kayubi sealed inside Naruto and told the village he was orphaned because he don't know Naruto parents name, but she know who parents were and still angry to Minato that he chose Kashina over her. So how she reacts she gather all the mob and make Naruto life as miserable as possible even go so far to kill him in several times but all the time Kayubi save him. When she married with wealthy person in village and get permanent seat in council and have daughter with her husband, she told her daughter Sakura to beat Naruto or get away from him because Naruto is a demon. Her daughter follow her mother everything she say. When her daughter become Kunoichi and find out she with Uchiha-sama and demon his team member she first try to use her political power to throw Naruto out of the active duty to made him a civilian so she can torture him more but Sandame stop her. But she used different approach she already tell Sakura always hit him Naruto on the head with as much force as possible in hope to damage his brain or possibly kill him and used him as tool like she used him as wave, Chunin exam and latest Uchiha retrieval mission in which Naruto promised to Sakura to bring Sasuke back no matter the what. She just hopes he will end up dead in any of those missions no matter he is taken, but he is always alive. You lot fools. If we listen to you then we'll be giving the most powerful and destructive force that we know to bunch of criminals and I don't think what those criminals have plans for the Biju will be benefit the Konoha or any other village in the bloody elemental continent. Said Ino's father Inoichi. Whatever their plan is we don't know and we don't care. If Akatsuki wants power of Bijus then they can have Kayubi's power because in overcurrent condition we don't have manpower or resources to spread. Even if we have we don't spread our resources to this demon, even if he is the last hope of the world. Declare Homura. Then that means you are going to abandon him simple because we have no resources or because he is container of Kayubi. Please tell me you don't want to help him because of his burden right? Asked Shikaku. Yes, all civilian council roared. I now propose that we cast a vote to decide the container's fate. 
stated Kaharu. Haruna Mebuki, I vote yes. Let's get rid of the demon. The sooner is out here the better for the village and better for Uchiha-sama and my daughter. Hojo Akira, a civilian politician who went whenever civilian people went as long as it keep him in comfortable position, I vote yes. This village is much better off without him causing us trouble. Yudatane Kaharu, if he is still in the village he will cause more problems than helping in future. If he stayed, there is no way he will lose control of Kayubi's chakra and destroyed our village and we also look for those S-rank missing nins. So I vote yes. Danzo, my reasons are same as Kaharu-san. I vote yes. It is good for greater good for Konoha future. Asai Haiti, one of the wealthiest men in Konoha who had lost greater deal of his wealth when family house has been destroyed in Kayubi attack, I vote yes and all more than happy to kick him out of the village myself. Mitokado Homura, I vote yes. I will not allow this abomination live inside this very village wall even if he somehow not even get the banish then I make sure he live even more his life as a living hell than this right now. Amako Taichi, Taichi was a wealthy businessman that had earned a great deal of wealth from selling various foods and herbs in and out of Konoha and Fire Country. He lost crops, herbs, land and wealth during the Kayubi attack. He also lost his elder brother who has been Jonan at that time, I vote yes the sooner we get rid of him the better. Nara Shikaku, not only is this meeting troublesome, but it is stupid. This vote is stupid. You guys, who banishing him, are stupid. I vote no. Akamichi Shuza, the boy shouldn't be treated like this. He is more loyal shinobi to the village and don't deserve to banished. If we banished him and leave him defenseless against Akatsuki then there is no saying what they do to him. I've no because my son, Choji has known Naruto since childhood. He was even one of the Choji's first friends. And if I vote yes I will never be able to face my son and others. Plus, he is the only person that can eat more ramen than me or Choji. My vote is no, Choza said with a slight chuckle. Yamanaka Inoichi, quite frankly I'm against this entire thing. I've seen what that boy goes though the village from his memories in his mind, when I did mental stability test. To be honest, if he decide to destroy this village then be deserve every bit of what we get. Contrary to your belief, his mind is hell of a lot more stable and more controlled than that Uchiha. I vote no. Kurama Unaki. Although I'm sympathetic to the boy's situation and hold no hated for what he carriers inside him, since he cannot be held responsible for unable to control the demon inside his body much like my niece Yakumo, it still don't the fact that you people just want him banished because he has Kayubi. He's weak I give him that because of this he lose control when he using Kayubi's chakra after Sasuke rammed his Chidori into his, but the more reason behind this which not only my clan but also every clans find out that academy the teacher not only teaching him anything but also try to sabotage his education. That why his basic is weak then any non-passing academy student or the other fellow member on his class. So my vote is no. Hayuga Hiyashi, I vote is no to banishing Uzumaki Naruto from Konoha. If we banishing him then it will prove right move now given the situation we're in but in future it proved one of our greater mistakes since Konoha formed because if we banished, then we look we to other village in future if they try to attack us. If he inside the village then it will also prevent them to attack us but also show that we are the one of the strongest village in whole element nations. Anbu Commander there is the truth what is Danzo-san and Kaharu-san said with regards Akatsuki coming back to Konoha to capture Uzumaki Naruto. However, like Akamichi-san I cannot agree with banishing him and leave him helpless to defend himself against Akatsuki, not without knowing their goal for the Kayubi and other bijus. This boy has proving himself to the village enough times and more, even in the exams, he helped save the village by defeating the Jinchuriki Gara. I vote no. He is not the one who defeating the sand demons. Uchiha-sama is the one who defeat him by himself. Shouted Mebuki to Anbu commander. I know because it's been verified by Nara Shikamaru and Uzumaki Naruto report that has been submitted to Anbu headquarter when Sandame Sama Hokage dead and all the report regarding Oto, Sand Invasion send directly to us then archive room because if Hokage is dead and there is no other Hokage who take in charge to village then all reports send directly to Anbu headquarter then archive room and even Gara is also verified it. Answer Anbu commander. It's a lie because the report which is present by the Uchiha-sama 
Hitaki Kakashi who used his ninja dog and last not least my daughter who present their report when Godime take in charge of the office says that Uchiha Sama is the one who defeat him with everything he got which that thing who is stuck with sand who is crushing him which in the end saved by Uchiha Sama by himself. Stated pink haired banshees. Enough Mebuki San B are doing vote and debating so please silence and let others to vote about container future. Homura said and then turned to Tsunade and other members of council. So Tsunade which side you vote? When this is going Tsunade is thinking about the meeting regarding everything happen in the village up until return in Konoha and knows that civilian council no love for the blonde haired Jinchuriki but he get respect from Shinobi council, even they try to defend him from banishing with all the power they have. She signed and look at the all the council member as they were looking to her then she look at the Naruto to minutes or two. Jiraiya. You can come out and give me your damn report. Tsunade stated in authorities. Naturally when they hear Godem is calling for Jiraiya to come out give her report then everyone in the room present become curious and wanted to know what this is all about when they were voting for banishing Naruto while she thinking about on other matter. Naruto himself come to an edge when he hear that her Ba-chan calling Previ Sage to give him her some damn report while he himself become more curious about more than anyone in the whole room. He himself thinks like her Ba-chan and Previ Sage won't let him banish him because he himself thought they care for him more than anyone in this whole room. Suddenly someone is coming behind Tsunade when whole council becomes very tense that there is someone present in the meeting when whole shinobi and all the hidden guards not even they know that someone present without knowing but they push aside their thought when they know who he was he is best spy master in whole element nation. He came out and everyone see it's indeed Toad Sage, Jiraiya the Toad Sanin who is considering strongest member in legendary Sanin. Standing behind Tsunade looking. Before Tsunade calling him out Jiraiya listen whole damn meeting about his banishing his apprentices or not so far civilian council is whining by one vote to shinobi council. But there are still votes that have to come from the Inazuka, the Serutobi, the Abarame and Tsunade herself left to decide the fate of Uzumaki Naruto. He then see every one of them with his neutral glare while everyone looking at him curiously and then come to stop Naruto at last and see he looking at him also looking him as curiously and there is also hope present in his eyes. Then he turned his gaze towards the Tsunade and looking at him for one and two. See that Tsunade and Jiraiya looking at each other seriously like they have serious conversion in their eyes but not even saying anything. The whole council looking at each other and some member become annoying that they just not saying any words or not looking at them. Pink hair banshee getting more annoying and become impatience more than anyone, she just smash her hand on table and get up from her chair. Will you please tell us why you are her for Jiraiya Sama and what kind of report you wanted Tsunade Sama, we have important conversion her about this demon brat so tell us already. Don't just keep us dark. Banshee snarled out. When both of them listen the banshee words they turn their gaze to her and then whole council. Both of them long sign and Tsunade is the first one answered them. I want the report about one of the most secret s rank mission that won me, Jiraiya, Serutobi Sensei, the elders, Inazuka, Abarame, Serutobi and Uchiha clan is known about this mission only and no one is know about this mission. Answer Tsunade. When Tsunade answer this everyone who know about what mission she was taking about while rest to the them who don't know about is come out a blank because they don't about this mission. Naruto himself had a feeling that he does not like the detail about this whole mission that Tsunade is said that. What is this mission or all about that we the rest to the clan head as well as council don't know about while you let other inform this whole mission. What this mission is all about. Asked annoying Hiyashi because this so called S rank mission which he don't even aware but Uchiha clan is known about this mission. Well I'll give you detail about when I get this report. Said Tsunade and turned towards the Jiraiya, well Jiraiya give us the report already we don't have whole day. When Jiraiya listen this he take out some scrolls and hand over to Tsunade and all the other members who know the mission. Tsunade and others take some time reading this report with serious expression on their faces. All of them looking each other and then look toward Jiraiya. Jiraiya is this true? Are you sure about this? Is there any way to avoid that? Because it means a lot. It's also deciding the fate of this whole meeting. Asked Tsunade. Jiraiya respond in grim. Yes Tsunade, there is no other way, I already try everything that I can to stop him become more powerful but he is too strong and his mind is more sharp than any of other I even encounter up until this now. There is no way around Haim. 
All of the council member that have scroll or dissipated to Jiraiya because they think they can stop him become more powerful and keep him under in their thumb. Very well, said Tsunade. Well let's go back to vote. I got I'm Hokage Senju Tsunade Konoha no Sato, hidden in the leaf village of Fire Country. My vote is yes banished that demon drat out of the village. When the entire civilian and the entire supporter of Naruto listen what Tsunade is said they can't believe it. They thought think that Tsunade can't even refer Naruto as a demon, she always think as a little brother or even son not as demon brat. Even Naruto himself is so shocked that his heart nearly stopped. He then look at the Tsunade that he always looking at him with kind, warm and sweet smile on her face which is not present at a movement but looking at him as a coldly, annoying, mad at him, even her hand is shaking like that she want to kill him even her eyes is also said to him that, I'm going to kill you demon. In Azuka Sum, if this is vote for other member of the retrieve team then my vote is no. But for this Kyubi brat who not only try to kill my son in this mission but try to take his mate from him and even defeat him in prelim of Chunin exam with the help of Kyubi no he is the Kyubi who just take over the body of the boy think that we treated him as a boy no. My vote yes, throw him out of the village and done with it. Abarame Shibi. Although some of the things that Kaharu has said are logically sound and also Jiraiya Sama who present his report to us is also have logical truth. We Abarame clan also know what is like to be judged simply because of what we carry inside us. But in case Uzumaki san we study him very closely for last 12 years and we know that he may carry the burden but no matter what he always excess the Kyubi's chakra do we logically conceded that he is a demon no matter what even my son Shino has said that his chakra is always as level to the elite Jonin and also give away the feeling of fox whenever his insect is near him. So my vote yes. Serutobi Asuma. I always saw the kid with my old man and even I know that my old man always keeping eye on him. If he is right now then he is very disappointed at the council that they can't even make his biggest dream which is he always wants to come true but it's look like it's not possible. My vote yes banished him. All in all this going on Naruto and all his supporters can't understand what is going even civilian side is unable to understand. Until now they always consider him as a child but now they consider him as like he is some kind of plague even go so far consider him as a demon or Kyubi which is entirely is not. He is a jailer not a prisoner so what the hell's going on and they always help him so what change him now when he need them more than ever so why they turn their back on him. Okay what the hell wrong with you people? Why are you turning your back on him? You all people all way help him out the most when he needs most. You always acknowledge his guts and determination. You Tsunade Sama consider him as your little brother or even consider him as a one of your child but now you look at him as a monster and you Inazuka San and Abarame San how can you say that to him like that you always said that he is most energetic kid in the village and help your people a lot when he was younger. Even your kids are Naruto child friends. And you Serutobi San what do you mean Sandame always keep an eye on him or is disappointed the council that his biggest dream that he wanted to come true but it's not possible. We know that Sandame grandson is like friend if not a little brother to Naruto. So how can you say that? Just tell me what the hell is going on in here. Angry Inoichi asked but he is not the only one as angry here Chuza, Shikaku, Unaki, Hiyashi even Anbu commander is angry towards the whole commotion and looking at the Tsunade, Sum, Shibi and Asuma while trying to figure out cause them to all this. First Inoichi I want to tell you about SS rank mission. The mission which is assigned by the Serutobi sensei by himself after the Kyubi attack where there is secret meeting going on after the council meeting and only those present which Sandane believe himself. I and Tsunade himself was present in the meeting when sensei used his monkey to reverse summoned in the meeting where there no one who which don't want to see them. The meeting is about new weapon that we gain after the Kyubi attack in the form of Uzumaki Naruto. We discuss how we treated him as a village hero or village monster. He then continued, after long discussion we come into agree that we treat him as a monster so that we can control him and make sure that he live for the village and die for the village. By the help to Danzo who used his agents and sensei used his Anbu and leaked the information about Kid as the Jinchiriki of the Kyubi which help us because nearly all the villagers seen him as a Kyubi or monster because in Kyubi attack they lost so many their close one. But they're getting out of hand so sensei made the law about no one speak boy about the Jinchiriki to young generations while so he looked good to those they even consider him as jailer then a prisoner. So he made a plan with plan to make boy village weapons. 
He even passed the law so in the council that no one even adopt him even they have some sympathy towards for him and give him a good childhood and made him even stronger than he is now and lost his control over him. When boy sent to orphanage, he ordered the orphanage that not to let him feed him any healthy food or even provide a book so he can learn anything and tell them to beat him time to time even he make even small mistake. So he submitted to the Hokage. He pauses some time so everyone in the room can absorb it what he's saying. After that he continued, when he see that kid will which is not shatter in orphanage then he order the orphan manager to throw him out of the orphanage and not let him in no matter the what and he do all this happily, he even get his rewards. After boy throw out of the orphan he lived there nearly eight months he was beaten by nearly even one in the village and when Sandame thinks it's the right time to appear in front him to act as his savior and made boy like he wanted because he think it will enough to let his to go shattered but the damn boy will even lot stronger than he think. Even after so many beating, heated, glare and abuse given by the village it's not even enough. So sensei takes other approach to make him submit to sensei. He put him apartment by himself and give him less money which only help him to three weeks even he know that village not given him any fresh food or even milk because when civilian member find out. He just keeping his grandfather figure around to him. So that whenever he has problem he come to him and ask help. But the kid is really stubborn like any other he only come when he needed help like time on sign the from to enter the academy or even need some tools. He said boy is in like he disgusted himself to consider him as a boy. After for some time he continue, sensei himself getting heart attack that kid is really good at sealing arts which sensei never want him to learn so after some time he make sure that he kid can't learn this art because it only reserved for chunin or the clan members but that give even more determined that he even become shinobi. Then after some time kid come to the office and ask about hokages so sensei telling him about every hokage in a detail but that even becomes worst for sensei plan because kid declare that he'll become hokage in the future. After some time pass when sensei see that kid is more determined to become shinobi then he pass the law in which that he or she who have kayubi or any other jinchuriki who may be live inside the village wall will never become hokage no matter the what not even village wants him to become hokage and the law can't be removed by any circumstance or even in any way even if they have their family member not chose as a hokage in any way but after five generation they may be eligible for the candidate because they become pure blood and become loyal to the village not like their parents. He continued again. After kid live by himself and join the academy sensei arrange mob to beat him in daily basis and even allow the civilian for the demon hunt especially for his birthday. You all know we held Kayubi festival for those who lose their live in Kayubi attack as well as Yandaimi but you may not know this but there is other purpose around for doing this is to let civilian do what they want to boy but left him alive. He tell Anbu to arrange the mobs and keep an eye on him and let it go when villagers try to beat him but stop them when they try to kill him. Most of the time sensei himself saw his beating and enjoy the sight that like he begging for mercy or even try to find out why they doing this to him but he get no direct answer. When he saw this is enough then he interferes and act as a savior but it's still not enough. So sensei had other plan in motion like in academy where he instruct the headmaster not let him learn anything that makes him even more powerful and try to sabotage his training in any way as possible and put him on academy dead last list so he can come and ask him help after we broken but no matter he not even come to him. When he asked about how it's going on academy and living home by himself he used his foxy smile and say it good so sensei is getting even more annoying by the boy answer. After boy pass his six year in academy he put him with Kakashi San team who only wanted to teach Sasuke and no one but sensei put Sakura and boy so that no one take him and teach him anything and let him even become strong and he know that Kakashi San hate him even more than anyone in the village. He instruct Kakashi to not teach him anything and used him as he want and keep teaching Sasuke but keep an eye on him so that he can't go to other sensei to try to learn anything. The only thing he teach him is just tree walking and teamwork nothing else while he teach Sasuke some jutsu and even he teach Sakura one and two jutsu so she can use it but not to Naruto and telling him to improve his chakra control when he get enough control then he will teach him some jutsu which is clearly impossible for Jinchuriki to get the chakra under their control. He continued again. 
When boy able to pass the prelim he asked Kakashi-san to train him for final but turn it down right of the bat and his training sent him to the Ebisu-san who was instructor of Sandame grandson who only have to teach him how to walk on water and some more chakra control exercise but I was in the village and sensei tell me what happened in Chunin exam and tell me that boy is able to pass prelim and he vowed to beat the hell out of Hyuga prodigy. When I listen this I just laughing my ass of that he beat Neji-san by himself. Yeah right. He has no skill or even he has we make sure not to develop them in any further. Sabotage his whole academy life by teaching him wrong even his taijutsu is wrong he only no academy 3 basic if you count out Bushin no jutsu, clone jutsu, which he can't do it no matter the what because of his reserve. Cage Bushin no jutsu, shadow clone jutsu, which become his specialty and no skill in genjutsu and ninjutsu so how the hell he will beat the Hyuga I just want to know. But Sensei said now is the time to act as a next part of his plan in which I just have to beat Ebisu San and show boy how good I'm and I'd. He just follow me throughout the village to ask me to teach him so that he keep his vow and beat the hell of out of his opponent but Sensei tell me not to teach him any ninjutsu so I take him with me to near the river where he complete his water walking and let him sign the toad contract, tell him how to summon them but not tell him how much chakra they will need to use for this. It takes nearly whole months I train him how to access the Bija Chakra which he did and summoned the Gamabunta the boss of Toad. After he completed his training I just ditch him and said let your body rest so he can fight properly in the finals and we know how it goes. Then Jiraiya takes some breath after that he continue. But everything is changed when Orochimaru is able to kill Sensei in Odo, Suna invasion but also weakened our village to the point that if other major village try to attack on that time they successfully able to destroy our village so I just go the Sensei plan which he leave behind to me in which he told me to get Haim into the village by using boy in which I only allow to teach him only one jutsu which I chose Yandaimi Hokage jutsu the Rasengan. I thought that he take time nearly complete this jutsu nearly one or two year but he able to do this jutsu in one week, on that time me and Haim which we observer him to make sure what he do and we find out he is getting more and more powerful and we have to do something and we already did but he's so stubborn than any other kids. If he doesn't have Kyubi then I'll help him fullest but he is a Kyubi so I have to stop his growth. I've even used several seals like loyalty, mind control seal, etc. But because of the Kyubi no things work. I have even Kakashi used his Sharingan but we failed miserably. So I take every report to fire Daimyo to present my report because he also know about our plan by the Sandame himself meaning every and he said this, the demon is getting much intelligent and stronger than we want, not even seals or other methods affect on him if this going then he become more danger in future. We have to take some action. Killing him may be a good idea but there is no knowledge if the seal on the weapon is actually able to kill him or not. If it's kill him then it good but if not then we're doomed. Banish him from not only from the village but also from my country as well as all our allies as help us. If he not present in any of our and our allies border then he have no other choice but to leave to the enemy land where there are so many ninja ready to kill anyone of them even its banished ninja. So banish him already make his life more miserable than this. With this every dream he has crush it completely. Without our help he is nothing but a child in the world where he don't know what to do, after some time he may be dead in other foreign land that he has no knowledge about. Make sure that he gets out of my country in two weeks. That fire daimyo says. You want to know why I'm not considered him as a little brother or even my son but think as a monster. Said Tsunade. Simple on Senju clan no one Jinchuriki is human, to us they are nothing more than weapon, tool for war. I'll have to act like Sensei had told me 12 years ago, act only I act like around my dead brother. When Sensei told me that I raised my voice against Sensei that I can't act him like a sister to him because there is only one brother in which I had and no one take his position no matter what, but Sensei able to convince me that if I'll not act like that then we lose village weapons so I've to act but not right now when the time has come he sent Jiraiya to me with that demon mean my time has come and I'll act as just as Sensei told me up until today. But Sensei plan fails, we failed miserably to make him Konoha prefect weapon we want for the hundred years now, so this is all I've to say and nothing more. My reason is personal and I'm not allowed to said because it's S rank secret. But I hate him with passion and he made my son look like fool not in front everyone in exam but also made him fool in front of his mate Hayuga Hanada which he chose when they were in the academy while this girl has major crush on the demon. 
Even they were on the same team he tried so many times to forget about the demon and fall to my son but she is just like the demon who doesn't give up on his silly crush. My son you say one of his friend you say huh. Ha he was just using him as a way to get away from his teacher when he was on the academy where he used some of boy pranking skill to pay back for all those who belittle him in front of the class. He is nothing more than the problem to the village. If he is out of the village she may forget about him and become prefect mate said soon on this hiashi becomes so much angry to soon that they leaking his killing intent in which matriarch inazuka become uncomfortable from inside but don't let up from outside while my reason is something that i can't say because it's clan secret and not more and even i try explain to you logically you won't understand so i can't tell you my reason to you people anything but i tell you this my son never ever was the friend of this demon he using him for his and the clan purpose and nothing more state shibi in monotonic voice well I tell you my reason is very simple. I like my father plan very much. By turning Uzumaki kid or should I Kayubi kid as a village prefect weapon by playing hero who save him only when he was about to kill. Every beating, suffering, hunger for food, hate and even glare made him loyal to the village by my old man. And regarding the matter of nephew bin friend or maybe little brother to him then you are wrong. Old man used his Konohamaru as ways to keep him loyal to the village and you himself see how he getting him on trouble so many time. Konohamaru friends also help in this but it still can't enough to make him what my old man want. Well there is nothing we can't do about it. Just banish him already we already waste too many time. Answer Asuma. When every one of those listened this they were so shocked that they even able to say anything. They couldn't believe that Sandame has even made this kind of plans to make Naruto life a living hell. But the person who was shocked most is none other than Naruto himself. He always thought that Sandame is like grandpa to him but now he hearing that he is the one person who is behind all the shit happened in his life. All the beating, suffering, hated, hunger, tears was caused by him, for what? To make him prefect weapon for the village like Yandaimi K's cage to his own son Gara who is Jinchuriki of Shukaku, one-tailed beast for his own village. Before he or other recover to say anything Tsunade clear his throat and getting attention to everyone. Genin Uzumaki Naruto Shinobi Registration ID 100734482 Jinchuriki of the Kayubi no Yoko also known as Demon of Konoha and Killer of Thousand Peoples in Village 12 year ago. You are hereby street of your shinobi status and banished from village not only by me but also by the order from the fire daimyo. You are deemed to threat the village and hereby saint of your shinobi status and hereby banished not only for the Kanahagakur no Sato but also from fire country meaning you can't stay in the fire country or its allied shinobi village or its country as well wave and spring, snow is ordered by both me godaim Hokage Senju Tsunade and fire daimyo or will be executed without any question consider a threat from us without trial. Hand over you Konoha headband right now. Order Tsunade in the commanding voice. Why yes. Was all said to Naruto said before he took his headband from his hand but not given to Tsunade but looking at it. You have one week of the village and ten days to out of the fire country. Failure to comply you will be executed on the spots and also I revoke the Sandame law in two days do enjoy with your time who might we your friend until then after that when they know about who you are they become their enemy demon brat said Tsunade in commanding voice that have evil smile on their faces. Naruto listen all this who not said or even move from his spot when all this happening but after some time he raise his head and look at everyone emotionally which even scare the shit of both the Sanin and rest of the council member. When I'm a young who is still going to academy I always asked question these question by myself. Why everyone in the village hate me? What I done to them to get this much hated from them? Why people calling me monster but I never get answer to my questions. All I get was beating, suffering, hunger, hated and cold glare by villagers. But there is still some people that care about me like, Gigi, and some other people. But I get my answer when Mizuki Tem tell me why villagers hate me because of the Kayubi who is sealed by the Yandaimi Hokage who I admire the most in the village but put aside those thought when I become shinobi. 
When I put under the team 7 with Uchiha Sasuke Tem and Haruna Sakura under Hitaki Kakashi I think that first time someone accept me when we all pass our sensei test when he declare us team but it all change on next day because he always teaching us a teamwork exercises when we together but in secret he always teach Sasuke some of her moves and not only that he even teach Sakura San how to detect or dispel in one or two genjutsu but not teach me anything because I don't have chakra control. These things happen until Chunin exam where I pass my prelim round when I my chakra was up by the Orochimaru. Then my next opponent who is Hyuga prodigy Hyuga Neji. I go to the sensei to ask him to teach me but he just bashes me because he has to train Uchiha to face Gara in the final and left me in the care of Ebisu San who I call him as a close to the pervert which he only teach me water walking exercise which I complete in the care of Aero Senen pervy sage. When he teaching how to control my chakra to summon the toad I even consider him as grandpa figure to me. When I beat Neji San in the final and all the people chapping for me I thought I was accept by the people. When invasion has happened I was assigned by the Kakashi sensei to retrieve the Sasuke Teme who was after Gara San. On that time I'm with Sakura San and Shikamaru San with Kakashi sensei summoning dog where I he is fighting with Gara who have the stared to transfer in Shukaku and Sasuke Tem who already used Orochimaru crush seal but his chakra reserve is nearly empty. It was me who save him and it is Sakura who is pinned down on tree by Gara San sand which is slowly crushing her. So to save her and Teme I fight myself to Gara San while Teme unable to move because he is affected by the crush seal. I was able to beat Gara who fully transfer himself into the Shukaku by the help of Toad Chief and because of my decision Gara San left alive along with his siblings. After that I go with Aero Senen to find the Tsunade San on that time he teach me Rasengan which is made by the Yandaimi Hokage. I was so happy when I was learning his move which I able to learn in one week. Then we meet her and she plays the beat if I was unable to learn Rasengan under in week then I leave Shinobi forces and she keep my all money. If I win she not only has come with us but she also placed her family necklace which I win fair and square. And then everything going on just fine but then Teme had to run to Orochimaru to gain more power to kill his father even when I was trying to stop him but he was trying to kill me. I didn't kill him because Sakura San made me promise to bring him alive or more specifically to her. If I don't promise her then I might have killed him or used more force to subdue him. But I held back during that time and because of that I get two Chidori wound on my in which one of them is very close to my heart but I survived and able to take Tem back to village. When I was in the hospital no one has come see me not even doctor to heal my wounds or should I say no one in the hospital staff allow to heal me by very powerful people like Tsunade San or Shizun San but thanks to the Kyubi I was able to heal quickly than before. When I get fully heal I just go visit Teme and try to find out how he is but what did I get from him. It's threat to kill me and he don't need Konoha to become stronger. So I left him and before I was call for the council meeting I was in my team meeting spot where I was waiting to meet Sakura San and Kakashi Sensei. When she come she look angry so I try to talk to her what I got sucker punch right on my face and she then beat and berated my for whole 10 minutes, on that time I never raise my fists. And lastly when I come in the council room where I not only find out that I'm banished from the village but find that Sandame is behind all of those beating, suffering, hated, hunger, glare and all the tears happen until now. He and you done for what to make me prefect weapon for the village, where I don't have my will to do anything. My friends Kiba, Shino, Konohamaru and others are just using me for their fun. In my whole life I want people to acknowledge, respect and kind towards me. Is this too much for you that I ask? I'm not allowed to live my life. I'm not allowed to enjoy my life. I'm not allowed to have friends with me. I'm not allowed love someone or loved by someone. Is my life to serve the village as a weapon nothing more? If you all think that last one is the one you chose then you're in wrong. Said Naruto to everyone but in the end his voice became demonic. If you think you can control my life then you're in wrong. You have no idea who you were messing up with entire time nor even had idea what I'm really even capable of, even in your wildest dreams. You think by banish me from this village and this country or even stop me to go all the other country and the village which you have allied with and think I can't live by myself. Ha ha ha, ing no, I live my whole life by myself. I can even live inside this village nearly my whole life and you still can't find me even if you wanted. I can even join any other villages if I want. 
I can survive in any place in the element nations even in desert sand of Suna or in the glaciers in Haru, Yuki or any other places. I will survive. Oh! And before you decide to end this meeting Godem and fellow council members I have to one message from you which I'm not repeating myself so live good and well. In future if you ever need my help to save your sorry ass then don't ask me ever again because in my eyes this village is dead and I don't help you. I only help those who really need my help and those who are precious to me, said Naruto full demonic tone which sends shivered down every single one of those who wronged to him. When council listened this whole council become very worried about it, while civilian council were happy that they finally able to banish him but they couldn't help but fear about his declarations even Tsunade and Jiraiya also worried about this but they put aside all their fear for now and focus the next and final task in hand. Jiraiya and Tsunade both look at each other and nodded then bit their thumb with teeth and take out some blood in hand and going throw some hand sign and smash their hand on the table, Kuchio's no jutsu, summoning jutsu. Both cried at same time and there is two smoke appear on the table. When smoke clear there are two creatures present in the room. One is small elder like Toad who wearer a small grey clock and other is Slug whose color white and has three lines from head to end of the tail. So Jiraiya Chan why you summon me here? asked Elder Toad. How can I help you Tsunade Sama? asked Slug. Ha and Katsuyu we summon you for very important matter. Answer Jiraiya. Ha I want you to cancel Naruto Toad contract from the Toad and I also want to make sure he never gets any of other summoning contract. Katsuyu I also want you to help Pa in this so that Naruto never gets any summoning contact in any summoning realm. We know that Toad, Slug, Snake and Salamander are the strongest summoning contract out there. So make sure every summon realm everyone know about this. Said Tsunade. Why Jiraiya? Why you want to cancel contract of this child who joined us only three months ago and why you also asking us to stop him become other animal summon? Asked Pa. Because Pa plan is failed. And we banished him from village as well as from the fire country and our allies and stop him to become more powerful than he is now. That why? Answer Jiraiya. Very well Jiraiya. You get what you want. From today onwards Uzumaki Naruto Toad summoning contract has become void and we also make sure he doesn't get other summoning contract from others as well. Said Pa then he summoned the big scroll in hand and open it there are few new written in it like Jiraiya, Namikaze Minato and last Uzumaki Naruto. Then Pa taken out special pen and turned towards the Naruto who was looking at him coldly. Well I want to meet you when you become 15 or 16 on that time I may train you to strong like Jiraiya but it look like it can be happen. So from this point on Uzumaki Naruto you live without the help of Toad or any other summon. After that he crossed his name with pen after that he rolled the scroll it back and scroll vanished just like that. You also follow do it what Jiraiya and I said it you got that, said Tsunade. Yes Tsunade sama, answer slug. Okay Jiraiya-chan see you later and you Naruto the demon never see again and I hope your life will filled with more torture and suffering, you never find happiness in your heart, you never find peace in your life, and always live your life for pleasing for mercy but it never given to you or even your family. And you always end up been alone in your life, said Pa with happy face and then left. Like Pa Sama said, I also wish same to you, said Slug and then left. Well that settles it now you won't have protection of Toad and not get any help from other summon. Now you won't become more powerful as it right now, replied Jiraiya with evil smirk. You can have your stupid Toad contract. I don't even care. You just help me but you don't even know. And regarding other summoning contract in future, I'm sure they are some other animal in which your stupid Toad or digesting slug doesn't even have their influence, replied Naruto with his own evil smirk. All right demon enough, hand over your headband and of course also give me my necklace its properties of my clan even I lose to you in our bet you'll never owner of this necklace so hand over to me right now. It is not acceptable, now give back what mine demon or else your world of pain. Said Tsunade. Naruto then take out Tsunade necklace from his necklace and then used his palm by using Kyubi chakra enhanced strength and starting to crush it. When he was standing before the Tsunade table he first slam his hand on table which carry his headband enough force to crack on both headband and table and then used other and do the same but this time necklace was not in as it was before now it was crush most of it part turn into dust while rest to become small tiny particles. 
When Tsunade see this she become very angry from demon brat that he destroyed his grandfather necklace which not even she can't able to do that but this demon brat not even able to crack on the necklace but also able to crush it to the point that even she can't remember it. She then looked at Naruto with anger and about to beat him to dead but stop when she saw him looking at her with deathly glaze that even froze her to his place and she even like Shinigami and paired of red eye looking at her with nine tail swinging wildly, ready to finish her. But before she even place her what is it Naruto spoke it. You can have this piece of trash back. I don't want anything from you old hag or pervert. I'm getting out of this hell hole which I once see as a home but now this village becomes even more hell than any other place in the world where they beat down child for their own satisfaction because he have no control over it. But it doesn't matter because once I'm get out maybe I can live my life happy once I get outside from your hands and you have no control over me. So goodbye ers see you in hell, said Naruto and then take his leave by using doors. When Naruto leave there is many reaction running in the face. While civilian council members happy that demon get banished from the village by this he become weak without even anyone help. The Anbu commander and Hayuga Hiyashi just sadly shook their head, knowing this was a biggest mistake that one day come back to bite them. Shikaku just thought, troublesome idiots. Chusa just signed sadly knowing his son would be greatly affected by this. Danzo, Kaharu, Homura, Sum, Shibi, Asuma did not join foolish civilian who now laughing away how they final got rid of the demon brat while they keeping their face neutral. Inoichi and Unkai just lowered their heads sadly since they knew this was wrong. While Tsunade and Jiraiya happy that they don't have to act like his godparents but inside they feel like they made their biggest mistake in their life and some guilty feeling also rise in their heart but they quickly aside their feeling and planning how to make Naruto banishment enjoyable for the villagers and themselves and painful to Naruto. While this going Jiraiya who looking for windows to see sunset but find that it was raining like when Kakashi father kill himself not even when his sensei dead there is no raining happen that day but now it happen. It seems that heavens are weeping. But why it now? When sensei and ninjas dead on the invasion there were no raining that day but now they raining. Are they raining for the demon brat? I don't understand, thought Jiraiya. Next day in Naruto's apartment. It was night time in Konoha. Naruto just finishing packing up his few major belongings so he would get ready to leave tonight. He still has five days but he doesn't want them any chance to move his banishment time forward and face their threat. His true friends just left his apartment after finding about my banishment and Sandame plans for their parents and friends which they were so mad at Tsunade and Jiraiya. They left my apartment an hour ago to say goodbye, along with few others. Team guys come first and said their goodbye in which he finds out guy was also the one who hate him most just like Kakashi and other fools in the village. Lee loses all respect to his sensei along with his teammates Tenten and Neji and now do want near him. They also put requested to put them with different sensei they may work with other person but not work with Inazuka, Aburame, Serutobi clan member even Hokage or Fire Daimyo give them direct order. Neji told him if they don't get any sensei then they put themselves as reserve unit, and also Hinata father take them under their wings. Lee even vow that he never say anything shouting about and, flame of youth, crap ever again and learn his taijutsu style on Goken, strong fist, by himself or any other which also suitable for his style. Lee I know that you're the stronger genin in the whole village even stronger than Sasuke Tem and Neji. I just asking favor from you. Naruto began. Anything you want Naruto-kun. Exclaimed Lee. I want you train Yakumo Haim in taijutsu and I know she has no skill in it but her genjutsu and ninjutsu are limited right now but if you help her in tijutsu. In future she able to defend herself from anyone who tried to harm her or her clan in any way. Please Lee will you do this for me? Asked Naruto. I'll help you Kumo-chan in any way I can Naruto-kun. Replied Lee happily to his friend, but can I ask you question? Asked Lee to which Naruto nod his head, what do you add Haim in her name? Are you really like her? What about Sakura-chan? I think you like her more than anyone else. I used to like her Lee but my feeling is end when I used Henge into Tem when we assign in a team and what she really think about me. Her reply made me realize that no matter what I did she never accept me as a human regarding love. It whole other story, after that I used to look at her scene as a sister but it now finished after what she done yesterday. But Yakumo Haim is one of my childhood friends when I used to go on academy and become friend. 
Before her academy year is finished I'll help in her private matter, since then she like me and I like her but we keep this secret for all over the village, so that no one hurt her or her family. Answer Naruto. Wait, you're the one she keeps talking about when we're academy. She always talks about how she meets a boy who was so kind, charming, funny, smart and intelligent. I know she have a huge crush on him just like Neji-kun cousin have huge crush on you but I never thought it was you because for what I can tell you're kind charming and funny but about the smart and intelligent which I can't believe it. You always act like fool or stupid and nothing more. So tell me about it. Asked Tenten. I can only tell you this. Deception is ninja great tool. If you want to know then you'll have to ask him about yourself Tenten-san. Answered Naruto which Tenten nodded and keep a mental note to ask Yukumo about it when next time she visited her. Okay Naruto-kun I do this for you. Replied Lee. Thank you Lee. Naruto thank him. After that Neji also come and gave me condolences over what had happened and about Sandame plan. When he talking to me he informed me Hanada father wants to see me after sunset to which I replied I'll meet them when the time is right. Then Tenten came as told him how she and parents were when they heard that Naruto banished for the village, Fire Country and their allies. Naruto had been going to her family store for years, since her parents, unlike most of the fools or backstabbing people, treated Naruto like a people. They even gave him discounts for weapons and gear when he was short of money, which was quite often. Tenten also gave Naruto a set of silver kunai as a parting gift, and said that they would miss him very much, leaving Naruto truly touched by Tenten and her parents' kindness. Kurinai also came to give Naruto her sympathy and bento which is made by her. She was angry not only towards the council but also angry towards Asuma, Kiba and Shino. But she said not about him but in her mind any kind of friendship or even relation she may have with Asuma is finished. Shikamaru wished Naruto luck and told him try to not too many trouble situations and also told him he, Choji and Ino are both requested just like team guy to change their sensei and putting himself on the reserve list until they get new sensei they will be trained by their own clan members and their fathers. Choji give Naruto a pie from his mom. Naruto thank Choji and tell him to thanks his mom for him. Naruto had meet Choji's mother one or twice and found her very kind women. Not to mention she was an excellent cook from one or two he had with the family along with Shikamaru. Ino came and give me sends of some flowers, poison and antidote for the various kinds of poisons and said she and her family will miss him. She even said I'm her even good friend than Banshee. She just hoped she have spent more time with me then following over Sasuke. After that she gave me hug. Tyuki and Ayame both arrived and sensed. Tyuki swore that if he even saw pink hair Banshee or even her daughter he would do more than to break their jaws. Ayame gave Naruto kiss on the head, much to his embarrassment, and told him to take care to himself. They also gave him a few instant ramen cups and gave him a large, hot bowl of ramen as last meal in the village. But the next people who came are not his friends but people who hate him most in the village are none other than Kakashi Tem. When he came to my apartment he still had his orange book in his hand and still reading his pervert book not even looking at him, Naruto, standing before me and then after some time he berated me for fighting his comrade and tried to kill him. He even went so far call me traitor, trash and failure then taken his leave without caring in the world. When he said those thing to me all my friends were so much anger at him but I able to calm them down and tell him that he is a trash and don't worry about him I'll get to him in future. After that they spend some time with me and then leave. After that I take every gift which is given by my friend and pack in my bag and used one of the storage scrolls which were given by the Tenton himself and store it. After some time I stay in my house on my bed and thinking about all the things happen in few days and how everything go to hell. When I thinking about this suddenly something come in my mind regarding meeting with Hiyashi. Then I go to the bathroom and close the door. After scanning bathroom for full minute to make sure there is no one in present inside in there. When I confirm it there is no one then I made familiar hand sign, cage bush and no jutsu, and one clone has appeared in front of him who have enough chakra to last four days. Clone already have its own instruction and left him in bathroom to do his task, which is to sit on the bed and look outside for the window after some time go to sleep. On other hand real Naruto who is still inside the bathroom used secret passage which he made when he was young to escape from those mob who trying to beat in his own house. 
After using secret passage he come out his home and used his stealth skill to move towards the Hyuga compound. After few minutes he came in front of compound. After which I used secret passage which is only no to the Hyuga clan heads and their hairs. How Naruto has knowledge of about Hyuga's secret passage. Simple Hiyashi himself tell him when he was six year old and save Hanada numbers of time to bullies even Hiyashi himself witness how he save her daughter even he is outnumbered and kids are few year old to him but he never back down. When Hiyashi come and save both his daughter and kid from other kids. When Naruto see him he smile and then pass out from injuries he have before he try to defend his daughter so he take Naruto and Hinata with him to compound and call one of his clan medic ninja and heal him. After medic healing his injuries and left him with Hinata who was sitting near him to overlook him. After some time he woke up Hiyashi thanked him for saving his daughter in which Naruto doesn't know how to respond. After that Hiyashi asked him how he gets these injuries to which he answer his question. When he hear this he become angry to the villagers to treat it the child like that but his daughter take it hard and openly crying for Naruto. After that he tell he will help him and Hinata training in secret so that he can defend himself if he ever face any of the this kind of problem and also tell him about passage so he can come in and out to compound whatever Hiyashi time decide those training. Training those training he take under Hiyashi his top three toughest training he has with anyone those are like torture time. When Naruto thought about the training slightly shiver ran down to his spin but quickly recover himself and enter the Hiyashi office. When he entered the office he can see Inoichi, Chuza, Unkai and Yukumo, Unkai niece, are sitting in the chairs and in front of them Hiyashi who talking with other clan head while Hanada is who is standing on his side. When Hiyashi see Naruto enter the office then he close the door of office and use the privacy seal so that no one can come inside of the room until seal is active and no one from outside is able to listen them. Thank you Naruto-kun for coming here in such a short notice. Hiyashi said first. It's okay Hiyashi-sama, I'm just fine, replied Naruto in respected voice. Naruto-kun I know that we try to stop council to banish you but it's still not enough and because of this your dream to become Hokage of this village is taking from you but also they take all those friends who still care for you. Said Hiyashi in a grim voice. I know that Hiyashi-sama. But I don't want to discuss or remember about all those things that happened yesterday. No to be rude or anything I know this is not you want to talk to me about Hiyashi-sama. Said Naruto. When Hiyashi and other listen this they know that Naruto is still hurt for all those things happen. So they stop right there and get to the main point. Very well Naruto-kun, said Hiyashi, Naruto you know what happened in the Hyuga clan compound for the after the prelim of Chunin exam right? Asked Hiyashi, to which Naruto replied in node, Hyuga elder are trying to put Hinata-chan in the branch family after she was defeated by the Neji-kun because of that they want to put caged bird seal on her because they think she is weak which I and you know both that she is not. Hinata-chan fighting style is similar to her mother which is based on water style while Hyuga style is based on earth. Due to this she has lot of problem to understand to those style and her hit are not powerful enough to disable her opponent within one blow because of this all those elder reach in decision. On the time of your banishment they put cage bird seal on her and send her to the branch family. He then continued. To save her for this seal Naruto I want you take Hinata with you so that she will be saved from elder and their supporters. I asking you this not as Hyuga clan head but as a father. Please take my daughter with you help her. Hiyashi asking Naruto with his head down. Hiyashi sama please don't bow in front of me. Even if you not ask me I still help Hanada Haim even I have to fight with old hag, pervert sage or even fight with full village I still save her. She one of the precious people in the village that help me whenever I need because of Hanada Haim and Yukumo Haim I don't turn like my new friend Gara and I'm very grateful to Kami-sama. I help you in this Hiyashi-sama but we have leave tonight. Answered Naruto with his kind voice. When Hanada and Yukumo hear Naruto replied they both have deep blush on their face because they know no matter what he will save him no matter what the odds. And of course when Hiyashi and other listen boy answer they become very happy. They know how serious he really is, he just like his parents. But all their thought comes in halt when he said that he leave tonight. Why are you leaving tonight Naruto-kun you still have five days? Asked Chuza. Do any of you see the scroll which contain the detail about my banishment order or the scroll from old hag? Asked Naruto. No we didn't, 
She doesn't let us or anyone else to see the scroll for some old reason. Answered Inoichi who has become confused from Naruto question. Well that's the reason. I read in rule book. If village banished someone from not only ninja forces and the village they will get banishment scroll from the Hokage by himself and copy of scroll distribute to all the council members. That why I'm get out of here tonight because I never believe old hag words before and I'm still not going to believe her words no. Answer Naruto. So that why Tsunade refused to give us the scroll because she bigger plan for Naruto banishment they tell whole council that Naruto-san have five days while inside they have maybe different maybe three or four days. Once the time on the scroll is passed and if they still find Naruto then they may executed him because his overstay in the village. That what they up to. I think this banishment order is the after the day or two after retrieval team come back to village with success. Stated Shikaku. When other listen the Naruto and Shikaku theory they understand why he leave the village now. So they have to move up their plan now. Well if that case then I'm happy Hinata-chan and I already prepare. Said Hiyashi who open the drawer and take out two scroll give it to Naruto. Naruto-kun this scroll consists of 10 million ryo for both of you and other consists some food which you can use past 15 to 18 month and please don't say no I'm give this to you for taking care of my daughter. So have to accept it and I hope you'll live your life happily. To which Naruto accept both scroll and put them into bag which he carried when he left his apartment. After that Inoichi come and take out two scroll give him to Naruto who look at him questionable. Naruto-san in these scroll consists some money which I won in lottery today in the morning which is 50 million ryo. So I divide some money, the scroll in which I given to you have 20 million ryo and other scroll have herb of various plants which you can use to make poison, antidote, food pills, blood pills, etc. It's for Hinata-chan which Ino told me about a long time ago that she talented in this. So please take it. If you take it I can repay your father and mothers who saved my life so many times even I can't remember. So please take it. Said Inoichi to which Naruto accept it. Then choose a come and give him three scrolls. Naruto kun these three scrolls in which two scroll are actually belong to your parents. In one scroll it consists 40 million money which I take loan from your father and mother nearly 15 years ago when we won the battle but I lost all the money on casino and your parents given to me and said I can return it when we have chances but you know what happened how it turn out. In second scroll it consists of all the valuable stone or artifact which your parents find in the war like stone, artifact, gold bars and many more things which your parents given to me so I can find out how much they are really wroth but I unable to give them back because of the war and my same reason as I said it before. And third is consist all the food that me and my wife can arrange for you too so it can able to hold up to easily for two or three year. So take it Naruto-kun it's from the house. Said Chusa happily to Naruto who accept it. Well what should I give it to you I think about it whole morning which too troublesome because you're grown up kid. I know that your IQ is same level as my son or it might be high and your strategist if you ask me. So I give you some gift to you just answer my question but not told me verbally but write your answer in this piece of paper because it is important kid. This question is Shodaim ask Nadaim. Are you ready kid? Asked Shikaku in commander voice to which Naruto nodded his head, what is king? When Naruto and other hear this question they began to wonder who was really king. Naruto himself think about it one and two minutes then he write his answer in paper and hand it to Shikaku. When Shikaku look in paper really happy to Naruto who give an answer correct and looking at him with small smile and nod his head to confirm him that his answer is correct. Good Naruto, your answer is correct, it's a shame that village lost to goldmine like you, if you not banished from the village then you maybe become great Hokage than any of them come before. He said with sad smile, Naruto. This scroll have gold which I don't really know because it's too damn troublesome but this scroll which I found near the dead body of I was general who was ruthless on his time and was killed by your father because so it belonged to him by the law of spoil of war and now by extent you see used it wisely okay. Said Shikaku still using commanding to Naruto in which he nod his head and accept the gift and put them into bag. Naruto I only give you a scroll which consist best genjutsu which only Kurama clan member used not even Sandame and Godaim know about it. By using these genjutsu you can able to change your appearances like changing color of eyes, changing your voice, 
even change your own face and other genjutsu and Hinata I know you can use every single jutsu I put in there but Patrice it when you have high level Chunin chakra reserve because some of them very powerful. So used it wisely, said Unkai to both Naruto and Hinata in which both of them know their head and accept it. Thank you everyone it mean a lot, you helped me when I was a kid. You even provide me house when I was thrown out by orphan and share your food with me when they don't even give me their own garbage. You help me when mob is chasing me to beat me, so help is best way you can when no one even suspect you. You teach me how to read book, how to write and even teach me how to draw a painting and teach me way of ninja. You even help even give my ninja way, I know there are other also help me but I can't go right now to see them and told them how much thankful I'm but I can thank you sir because even I was banished out of the village you still helping me. Thank you very much, Naruto said and he bowed down to the ground while some tears still coming out from his eyes. After some time he get up and wash away tears using his jacket and turn to see last one person. Yakumo Haim, started Naruto, Naruto kun, said Yakumo, Haim I, Try said something but only stopped by Kurama clan Eris using his index on his lips. Naruto kun please listen to me. I'm always wanted to say this to you. When I was you in my power which is always out of control because of this my parents are dead and my whole clan they hate and fear for me because when I get angry my power is always out of control. Even under Kurunai sensei who become teach me how to control my power was unable to help me. She also left me all alone because Sandame ordered her to leave me. When she leave me I become more desperate because everyone which I really like them is taken away from me one by one. I starting to lose myself completely to my dark side but before it happened you came in my compound and hide in my room to save yourself from mobs who try to beat you. After they get away from my compound you came out and meet me. After that we exchange hello to each other and talk about random things, it was awkward start but I like it enough time with you. When you leave and I make you promise to meet me that you come again next day, when you promise me that you can come again to meet me. When you leave me I feel myself lonely but inside my heart I feel warm. I want to see you again. I want to talk to you again. I want to become your friend. I even wanted to play, eat and many more things that normal young girls wanted in their childhood. I just had to wait for you to come on next day which you come. You start telling me about all the pranking you did on the villagers and many other things. After some time talking with you we became friends. This continued every day until you come to third year in your academy class while I come on fourth year and my class's timing is increased but even I come late home even sometime my classes ended until sunset and get home you always waiting for me in my room. During that I spend with you I become to like you more than like friend. But I never told you because if I tell you then I lose you so I never tell you. Then you tell me about another girl who become your friend before you meet me and tell me how you meet her and save her for those bullies and even become her first friends and help her to grow in her shyness, weak girl to become confident, strong girl in front of father, even she had to act like sly girl in front of whole clan so she can save her sister to banished from branch family and this is all happened because you help her. Due to this I got crush on you. After some time you come with your first friend and I can tell her by looking at her face she also have huge crush on you like myself. When you leave us for something, on that time we talk about each other and find out each other had feeling towards you. So we decided we can help each other so that over feeling can reach in your heart. Nearly one year ago you accept our feeling. You don't know how happy we're when you accept our feeling. You said if we love each other when we're reached to the legally married life and we still have feeling for you then we're going to get married. After listen those words I become so much happy that I can't describe like I become world happiest girl in word. I even dream about everything that happened having Mary with you and have some kids with you, enjoy our life together and just like happy family. Said Yakumo with sad smile while tears coming out of from her eyes. But now I find out the man who I loved so much even more than my own life is banished but also find out that everything that happened to you in your childhood was Sandame was himself and for what because he bring damn Uchiha back to this damn village using extreme force which was authorities by old hag herself and he became more powerful after they sabotage your educations. That you won't be under their control, he will not become village prefect weapon because he still have will to resist and stand against all odds while never give up. I. 
Yakumo want to say in her anger while tears coming out form her eyes but stopped by Naruto who hug her while running his hand back to calm her. At first not as happened but after some time she calmed down while Naruto still his hand on her back. Afterward Naruto start talking to her. Yakumo, calm down. I know that you're angry because of my banishment and Sarutobi Tem plan on me become village prefect weapon but you don't have to angry because if you get angry then you will lose control over your power and then they throw you back in dungeons and interrogate you so they can use your power for their own goals. So please calm down for me Haim. Naruto pleaded to her to which is finally able to calm down and then Naruto broke the hug much of her disappointment but don't show him but caught by the certain Hyuga heiress who was still standing her father's side. Haim I know because of this my banishment we can't see each other for some years and you know me and Hinata Haim also going to miss you very much but I didn't mean we can see again can be in future. When we again reunited with each other I promise that I don't let leave you again in future and I can do anything everything to protect you, Hinata Haim or any of my precious people even it cost my life I'll protect them. Said Naruto in determined voice to Yukumo and everyone who was listening which gives various reaction. Hanada and Yukumo have blush on their face for Naruto declarations. Hiyashi and Unkai both are smiling at young blonde while inside they were proud of him and satisfied that their daughter and niece find good man who becomes good husband in future. While Inoichi, Chuza and Shikaku both show their smiling faces and they are happy with bond determination while everything shits happen he is still care for his precious people. After some time Naruto take Yukumo hand with his hand while they looking each other eyes. Haim can you do something for me? Asked Naruto to which he get. Yes, from her. I know that your genjutsu and ninjutsu both are improving but your taijutsu is still weak. So I asked my friend Li who is your classmate and one of my true best friends are going to help you as much as he can while keep your skill hidden for everyone but tell only those who you can trust. Also don't show your skill in front of old hag and all those fools or they might do something which we don't like it okay. Said Naruto to Yukumo. Why yes, replied Yukumo. Yukumo looked at Naruto who was looking at her. She knows she is going to miss him more than anyone, so she did something that Naruto wasn't expecting. She moved forward, grabbed his face and pulled him into kiss on lips. Taken aback from the sudden kiss, Naruto was so shocked at Yukumo's actions that his brain went into shutdown and his eyes widened. Before he could recover Yukumo remove her lips from Naruto and looked into his eyes and say nothing but she still have blush on her face which is similar to the certain Hyuga heiress. Naruto on other hand recover quickly and looking at her with his own blush but said nothing. After that both say goodbye to each other but before promise that they will meet each other in future then they look at others and see that Hyuga clan head is finished talking to Hinata. They soon join others. Naruto. Hiyashi started. I talked to Hinata-chan about the suppression seal which you both have on your body. I want you to release the seal and use your full potential which you only show to us when we train you and her in private training because now you really need it more than ever. Soon Tsunade and the council will send the hunter ninja after you to eliminate you or Danzo send his root ninja after you to try to capture and brainwash to make you his own personal weapon for his own personal goal. Okay Hiyashi-sama, answered Naruto. But before me and Hinata Haim leave go, I just want all of you know this if you ever need help in future please don't hesitate to ask it. I'll help you anyways I can. Very well Naruto-san, we'll keep that in mind. Take care yourself, replied Inoichi. Yukumo then stepped forward to Hinata and hug her which Hinata return her as well and then break hug. They then look each other after that Yukumo break the silence. Hinata-chan, please take care of Naruto-kun for me. All Yukumo chan, but you also have to take care of yourself. Replied Hinata. Then Yukumo move away from her and join her father's side. After that, both Naruto and Hinata says final goodbye to other clan heads and follow the Hiyashi who lead both Naruto and Hinata to secret passage, which was present inside in his offices, which lead to outside to village. Then Naruto and Hinata both enter the passage and used one of the trock which is present. Outside Konoha, on a hill overlooking the village. Two figures stood looking down at it for the last time. Both were Naruto and Hinata who come out from the Hyuga secret passage. My fake life in Konoha is over, and a new one will be beginning outside it. But just wait, Konoha. I will come for you. I'll be back to help my all dear friends and those people who I really care about me, respect me, don't see me as a demon but as a human and help them when they really need me. 
I'll become stronger than anyone become ever been and when I do, you'll be sorry for the all the shit you done to me and my family, and banished me from her. That is a promise of a lifetime. Believe it. Thought Naruto before he and Hinata turned his back on the village walk away into night. Four days later, it'd been a four days since Naruto and Hinata left Konoha. Both taken off in a random direction, not really caring where he going. His had wanted to go to Suna, but that would cause problem for Gara. He wasn't even sure if he would be welcome there, since he was one of the reasons why the invasion failed. Though Suna had been tricked into they still suffered a heavy loss and a humiliating defeat. Not to mention he would bring the Akatsuki to their doorsteps. Sure Gara was a Jinchuriki like him, but Gara could at least defend himself and his village, as it was surrounded by sand. Even Sand Village also defend him because the news he hear before he gets banishment that he is going to become Sand K's cage. Naruto on other hand can't go to Suna because Konoha Council has restricted him to enter him in any part of the village or the country who is allies with Konoha or the land of fire and get executed, but even if Gara able to stop this he still make things harder on Gara and his village. He didn't want to do that to his friend. He didn't want to go to Taki, hidden in the waterfall, or his friend Shibuki the leader of Taki, and cause trouble for him, since like Suna, Taki's alliance with Konoha would be very important to them. Naruto had also thought about going to Haru, Yuki no Kuni, land of spring, snow, since he sure that Lady Koyuki would welcome him, but he knew that Haru, Yuki no Kuni was very far away and he would definitely not get there by foot. Not only that they didn't have their hidden village and at some point Akatsuki would find him there and would attack him, as a result putting Lady Koyuki and her people in danger. Wave might have been a good choice, or even the land of tea, working with the Wagarashi clan. But Naruto knew that eventually the Akatsuki would find him in either places and he would not put Wave in danger because of him. He also knew that the Wagarashi clan would stand no chance if they went up against anyone of the Akatsuki. All things linked up to the same thing. The Akatsuki would at some point find him down, hurting the people he cared about in the process. He thought about going to another ninja village that had no alliance or real link or connection to Konoha that could maybe protected him and Hinata in some way if he and she both agreed to be one of their ninjas. But he realized that even if he found a village that could help him and allow him to join, the choices weren't that great. Aim, hidden in the rain, Kusa, hidden in the grass, and Hoshi, hidden in the star, were small villages and not very strong. He knew he needed to be with one of the five great shinobi villages to stand a chance of surviving an attack from the Akatsuki. Kiri, hidden in the mist, was out of the question since he heard when he met Haku that they were in the middle of a civil war. Plus after he heard how people with bloodlines were treated there and there is no way he was going there. Plus he with his Haim who also have bloodline and people will try to harm her so that why he don't feel like to go there. Iwa, hidden in the stone, was also out of question since Iwa and Konoha is mortal enemy, even missing ninja are also fighting each other and he doesn't even know how Iwa react if they find out he is Jinchuriki of Kayubi. The final choice was Kumo, but Naruto didn't want to go there, since he didn't know much about the village, other than what had Neji had told about how they attempted to kidnap Hinata. He also heard that Kumo tried to kidnap her again during the Suna and Odo invasion, which was prevented by Neji and his team. Needless to say, Naruto did not have a very high opinion of that village. This left him only one choice, to wander around with Hinata trying to find a way to get stronger with Hinata. Damn it, I can't go to Suna, Taki, Nami or Haru, Yuki or any other country which Konoha and Land of Fire still have allies with them. I can't go to the aim, Kusa and Hoshi since they are not strong enough to help me and Hinata Haim to become strong or stand against Akatsuki. I can't go to the Kumo and Kiri because Kiri is still in civil war and Kumo might try to turn Haim to breading Hyuga in their village. Iwa I don't hear them about since last war, even their merchant not come to Konoha to do even business. I don't know what to do. Thought Naruto to find out what to do, then suddenly something come in his mind. How can I forget about that I can go to my mother homeland and where we can hide there to become stronger but I'm not allowed to enter the village until I turn to 15 and also Ka Chan says that they have to keep secret to all other villages for the long time. So there is one place left to go hide out of my clan which is outside from the element nations but it will take two weeks by the boat and that boat only find in border of between Hai no Kuni, land of fire, and Kaminari no Kuni, land of lighting, and it two hour away from us. 
If we leave Element Nation for the sometime then old hag hunter ninja unable to find us, also in the hideout we can become very stronger, strong enough to protect each other and over precious people. Naruto finished his thought and stopped to look his companion and then said to her. Hanada Haim, started Naruto. Yes Naruto kun, said Hanada. Haim I think I know where we should go so that old hag and Akatsuki can't find us. Said Naruto. And where we should go? Asked Hanada. Well first I think about going to the Suna, Nami, Haru, Yuki, Taki but we know we can't because of council order and then I think about other minor village but they are not strong enough to fight Akatsuki. Then I think about Kumo, Kiri but I quickly dismissed the idea because that we have bloodline while one try to turn us into breeding stroke and other to kill us. Then I thought about Iwa but we don't about them since the third great ninja war. I even consider going to my mother land but we can't because I'm still 12 year old and the border line is 15. So there is one place we should go that is one of my clan hideout which is outside the element nation. But to go there we have to go the Hai no Kuni and Kaminari no Kuni border where we can find take the ship to leave. Answered Naruto. Okay, how long it will take us to reach there and how long it take us to reach your clan hideout? Asked Hanada. It just two hour away from her and after we travel though ship, it will take two week max if Ka Chan say is true. But we have to wait for them because that ship comes only one day at the time of midnight so we have to hide somewhere so that ninja don't find us. Answered Naruto. So what do you say Haim? Okay, let go, said Hinata. After that both head to the border to leave the element nation. It's been four days Naruto and Hinata left the village without anyone, minus Naruto and Hinata true friends, knowing in one day is left for Naruto official banishment. Now everyone in the village knows that Naruto is banished from the village for hurting their Uchiha Sasuke in the S rank retrieval mission. Majority of the villagers and third of the shinobi forces supports the Godaim Hokage Tsunade and council members, minus Shikaku, Inoichi, Chuza, Unkai, Hiyashi, but also supported by the fire daimyo to banish demon without even aware of the sandame plans that used to made Naruto village weapon, if they even aware of that then they will support it even more. Villagers is happy that they finally getting their wish that Naruto will be thrown out of the village but some villagers wants him dead just for only he have Kayubi but they still satisfied that they don't have to tolerate him in future. Those who don't like banishment order are Tenchi and his daughter Ayame, Kurenai, Tenten, Rock Lee, Anko, Anbu Commander, Anbu Captain Yugao, Hayuga Clan except for Hayuga Elders and their supports Nara Clan, Yamanaka Clan, Kurama Clan, Akamichi Clan and some villagers and shinobi who see that Naruto is a person not the Kayubi brat that villagers see. When the banishment order announced in public on that time nearly every single person in younger generation hear that someone get banished while old generation is happy about this, they can't understand why all the villages is happy about. They know that they have seen them many times and, other than doing pranks, which is not harmful other than his recent retrieval mission and nothing more. Official banishment is announced today in the morning and everyone who's supporting this banishment are now preparing to make this banishment spectacle out of Naruto in front of whole village when he was officially banished, even Tsunade and all their supporters is also helping the villagers and to make Naruto feel like he been never wanting in here or in any place in the world. When Naruto is about to officially banished from the village Tsunade will revoke the Sandame Hokage law about Naruto been the Jinchiriki of the Kayubi on that time every supporters of Naruto who doesn't know this will turn on him, by doing this they will literally turning village against him and telling him there is no one see him as a human. Tsunade herself looking forward to banishment ceremony in which she will gain lot of money which she used to buy lots of sake for herself and get satisfaction that she getting every bit of revenge from the blonde demon and to his mother especially who humiliate her in front of whole shinobi council. Nearly 20 years ago Naruto mother Uzumaki Kashina has become getting stronger, stronger than her. Kashina get her S rank Kunoichi status by killing all the members of Kiri no Shinobugatana Shinshin and Shu, seven shinobi swordsmen of the Mist, and also take out full company of Anbu Black Ops of Kiri Mist by herself which even Tsunade herself having problem. Due to this she became first female Kunoichi in the element nations who get flee at sight order not only from the Kiri but Kumo Cloud as well. Tsunade herself get S rank ninja status but in reality she knows that she is A rank Kunoichi but when she used creation rebirth technique which heal her any wounds in matter of seconds due to this she get S rank status. When Kashina get the same status as her, 
Nearly all female look up to both of them which she didn't like it because in her opinion Kashina has no right to stand as same level as her, she only see her as a lowly and nothing more. But Kashina get even lot of attention and respects from Shinobi Council which made her mad, so she challenged her in a duel where she lost badly, even she was hospitalized nearly full month. On that time she vowed to take revenge from her but Kashina was dead after giving birth to Naruto in Kyubi attack so she take all her hatred out on her son when her sensei tell her about his plan. Naruto other so called friends also shows true colors when they hear that Naruto is banished from Hai no Kuni land of fire. First one who shows his color is none other than Kiba from Inazuka clan. Kiba hate Naruto for two reasons. First he carriers the Kyubi and second Hinata like Naruto which Kiba don't like it because when he was young when Hinata mother was still alive on that time his mother told him that Hinata is just like her mother and will become beautiful in future. From that point he want Hinata more than anything else, he even create lot of problem for her like told every civilian girls to not become her friend if they do their family get hurt, even paid upper classmen to bully her so he can save her and thus become her hero but Naruto somehow always interfere in his plan by saving Hinata because of that he used some of his clan member to beat Naruto so that he will not get along with Hinata. He then tried to become Hinata friend but Hinata always reject his friendship. Then he used indirect approach by become Naruto friend but after some time both Hinata and Naruto stop talking to each other but still Hinata always like Naruto. His mother is also help him when he became Genenshi with the help of Sandame who put Hinata, Kiba and Shino together in Kurenai who actually want Hinata, Naruto and Shino in her team which she don't get it because of Sandame plans but all the time he spent with Hinata he's still unable to become her friend. But now her crush is going to be kicked out of the village and he will make Hinata his own personal and also he want to settle some score with Naruto for humiliate in Chunin exam in front of others and because of that he gets some sore lecture from his mother. Other person who shows his true color like Kiba is Shino. Shino hate Naruto because when Kyubi attack on the village his clan compound is completely destroy and also lot of his clan member dead because they are not fast enough and also use their insect to absorb Kyubi chakra which is totally harmful to them. While Abarame clan have antidote of anything but they can't cure themselves when their insect absorb some of Kyubi chakra and return to them which affected them most of member killed because they absorb lot of chakra while others who survived from this have to take force retirement because their chakra coil getting nearly destroyed, some member may able to join back but it takes nearly 6 to 7 years. When Shino join academy his father told him to observe him and don't get to friendly which he followed it. On that time his father Shibi give him order as a clan head used his own insect and tried to absorb as much chakra of Naruto and come back every day as can so they able to create antidote of Kyubi chakra poison so they can use it power but failed miserably because they unable to get any kind of Kyubi chakra when they were on academy. But when Naruto used Kyubi chakra on Chunin exam finals Abarame clan tried to get some of Kyubi chakra but for some reason it fade away quickly. Here his clan never considers Naruto as a human or living being, they only consider him as a weapon to use as they liked. Next person is Konohamaru, who tell everyone that he never consider Naruto to his elder brother because he was the reason why his grandmother is dead, even his friends Moegi and Udon also hate him the most after all they are the grandchildren of elders council members. When they hear that Naruto is banishment order from Godaim and fire daimyo they become very happy. They only follow him because so that they can take his revenge from Naruto by killing him but all the time he somehow get away but now there is no thing that can stop him. He even from some plan so that they can hurt him more before he left the village and by that get some sort of satisfaction. Even his uncle Asuma also help him in something like repaying the demon favors. Sakura is the next one who heard what Hokage-sama telling the entire village about. When she hear it that Naruto is the one who carry Kyubi inside in him she then calling for his death along with other agree on that but ignore because if they kill him then demon get his full power back somehow and will come back for them and finish what started 12 years ago, so they quickly put aside that thought. Sakura mothers also helping her and even providing some type of ticket or even rotten food so they can throw at demon when he leave the village. All in all those people who pretend to be Naruto friends or even care now shows their true color and ready to pay back. But they will never get chance because he already escaped to the village with Hinata. They don't even know with this banishment how things going to change in future, even if they know. Training Ground 10 of Konoha In Training Ground 10 Team 9 and 10 members are standing in the middle of ground. 
All of them are very angry because many things happen in last four days. First things Naruto is banished from the Konoha and Hai no Kuni, then Tsunade tell everyone about Naruto bin Kayubi which is practically lie and they know it and then every single one they thought Naruto friends are nearly turn their back on them and denounce him as a demon, monster and many more things. Then Tsunade call all of them in the morning in her office after telling village about Naruto's secret and want to know their opinion in which they find out Sakura, Kiba, Shino, Uruka, Kakashi and Gai see Naruto as a demon. They pretend as his friends while in Uruka case as his older brother because they want to ensure his loyalty to the village and also submitted his will to Konoha council member which they able to get his loyalty but unable to submitted his will to them and now he is banished from the village there is no reason for them to pretend it in front of Naruto like they care about him. When Tsunade listen everyone of betrayed people she became very happy but then frown when she hear that other or not see him as a Kayubi but as a hero of the villager which village forsaken it after that she became very angry and tell them they will see him as a demon and that Hokage order to which they ignore it but Tsunade want to do something to them but ignore it because she has another thing that she want them to do. Then she order Naruto old classmate and team guy to attack him when he officially leave the village so they finally able to break his will which Kiba, Sakura, Shino as well as Suma, Gai, Kakashi and Aruka are more than do willingly but leave him alive. Other who doesn't follow those order are Choji, Ino, Shikamaru, Neji, Rock Lee, Tenten and Kurenai because they are not going to do it which made Tsunade and others very angry and tell them if they don't follow her order then they will be fired from their jobs because they don't follow their Hokage order. Then Shikamaru tell her that they can't do it because they are belong from the prestigious clan of Konoha and nearly all of them are clan heirs unlike Naruto who don't belong from any clan, but he is alright, and second Neji, Tenten and Kurenai are under Hayuga, Nara, Akamichi, Yamanaka and Kurama clan protection. Also Shikamaru said that they can't fire them from their respected job because that power is only hold by the Jonin commander which is Shikamaru dad Shikaku and only he can do it even Hokage him her don't have any right in this matter. This makes Tsunade and others are very angry because they think by telling Naruto secret they will see them as a Kayubi unlike their parents and then they will attack him by her order but it not possible for now. After that they all leave her office without saying or even hear any of them but they were so much angry at Tsunade and all those people who they consider as friends. They're soon out of their thoughts when they sense three people are coming from them and all of them look and find out Kiba. Sakura and Shino are coming toward them. When they see them soon everyone become very angry when they saw who is coming and they wanted to beat them to inch of their miserable life but they able to held their anger at check and not wanted to get themselves in any types of troubles. Soon Kiba, Sakura and Shino joined them. None of them spoke any words to each other. Hell even Ino is avoiding Sakura all the time for last three days and Neji with the help of other Hyuga members is able to keep Kiba and Shino away from to entering Hyuga clan compound. Seen that none of them start to speak Sakura is the first one who break the silence. Hey guys good morning, speak Sakura try to light some mood. Yeah morning Sakura san, replied Ino almost lazy tone as Shikamaru while she and others looking away from them which made Sakura mad but didn't say anything but find one member are missing. Guys any of you seen Hinata-san? I haven't seen her for lately. Asked Sakura while looking over to the training ground to find Hinata but couldn't find her. When she thought about it she hasn't seen her since last week. Hinata-sama currently on the compound in her room. Replied Neji without even looking at them. Why is Hinata-chan in her room? Did something happen to her? Asked Kiba who don't see that when he add, Chan, in Hanada name to which Neji have to hold himself so that he don't have to maim him but hand on his shoulder help him calm down which is belong to Tenten. She is not here because there is assassination attempt on her life nearly week ago. Neji lie to them. WWWHHHHHHAATTTTTT. Do you say someone tried to assassinate Hanada Chan? How is she? Did you saw her before you came her? Tell me now, Kiba demand to Neji to tell him about Hinata when he hear that someone try to assassinate his. He start to move towards the Neji to find some answer but he stop on his track when he felt killer intent which is coming from both Neji and Tenten which make him very nerves. When Neji see that Kiba is stop he stop his killer intent and take sign. Yes, I see her in morning before we came here. She was still in her room unconscious because of the medicines which were used by doctor but will wake up after nearly 8 or 10 days. 
Before you ask me why as she is unconscious is because nearly a week ago when we were treated on hospital after completing that mission, she is trained by her father in advanced style of Hyuga clan. After that when she is nearly get on the style she has fight with one of the main member of the Hyuga clan and only allowed to using that particular style that she just learned which other members tell me that she have yet to get those style under her but on that fight her response time is very slow and due to which she was beating by her opponent and was going to finishing blow which could kill her if Hiyashi Sama himself interfere and that man was kill on the spot. After that Hiyashi Sama take Hanata Sama to his personal clan doctors and find out she had several fracture and lot of internal bleeding. After stable her condition doctor suggest that she will take rest for nearly for two months and another two before she fit to joining any her kunoichi duty. Due to Hanata Sama injuries and attempt to murder on her life Hiyashi Sama nearly forbid every single member of clan not to go in her room, only selected few are allowed to see her in which me also. Also there is message which was given by Hiyashi Sama to you teammate is you are not allowed to enter in compound to see Hinata Sama but your sensei is allowed to enter compound but to meet her she must have to get her permission to himself. So I kindly suggest not show your faces in front of compound for nearly two months or you will face Hiyashi Sama wrath personally. Answered Neji in which both member of team 8 gulped when they hear about Hiyashi warning to which they don't say anything but inside both of them have different thought running in their minds. When Kiba hear that Hinata is injured he want to see her so that he can make move on her but when he hear that Hinata father forbidden him and Shino to enter on Hyuga compound for two months, if he disobey Hiyashi order and try to meet Hinata then Hinata father will maim him and he didn't want that happen. Shino on other hand think current situation happen in last two week. One hand he hear demon got banished, while on other hand he hear Hinata has assassination attempt on her live while she spare with her fellow clansmen and got injured badly and out of action for four months but not allowed to see her, even Hinata team while Kurenai may allow to see her if only Hiyashi allowed it. Shino also know that Hinata have two dreams, one is to help demon as much she can and marry him in future and other is to abolish the use of caged bird seal on branch member of Hyuga clan and combine main and branch family and become as one true family. Due to this elder and their supporters of Hyuga clan are not pleased with Hinata because of this they try to threat Hinata to give her silly dream or she will face consequences and because of that Hinata developed sly, weak and undetermined personality but somehow she get her strength for sea demon determinations and because of that she able to become Kunoichi. In Shino opinion there is something going on in Hyuga clan like some sort of coup d'etat happening in which elders are trying to take over clan by killing Hinata. But in his mind something is even big going on that he and others don't see it. If he has brain like Shikamaru then he might find out what is this all about. When Sakura hear this she just show concern look on her face but inside in her mind she is almost happy that someone tried to kill Hinata but frown when she hear that Hinata lives saved by Hiyashi. She thought if Hinata is end up been dead then she gets some sort of revenge on Naruto because Hinata love demon and for her death and find that Hinata love him when she tell him it will hurt him even more that there is someone who love him. While others hear Neji story why they don't see them for last week, they know why he tell them lie about Hinata been injured because after they left Naruto apartment their fathers come home late at night tell them Naruto and Hinata left village together. They also see that Kiba is mad about unable to see Hinata. Shino don't show any type of reaction but they know he must think about what going on Hyuga clan and Sakura who show concern look but they know she hate Hinata most because Hinata love Naruto more than anyone. Oh, I hope she is alright. Said Sakura in concerned voice. Yeah, I hope so. But I don't understand. Why member of same clan try to kill Hinata-san it doesn't see logical explanation what does he get for killing Hinata-san. If he able to kill Hinata-san in front of Hiyashi-sama and other members they will still kill him. Why he take risk, it doesn't even make sense. What he get for killing Hinata-san? Asked Shino who is still confusing all the things happen around village. Troublesome. Matter Shikamaru. This got everyone attention on him and all of them looking for him for some kind of answer. Shikamaru see that all of them looking at him he only sign then tell them what going on. Well we all know about Hinata San dream don't you? Asked to them to which all of them nod their head. We know that how main clan member especially elder of her clan were trying to put her some kind of their own training that all the main member of Hyuga follow but in case of Hinata San she don't like all those rules which make them mad and someone used one of the main clan member who was chose to fight her on that time. 
But whatever it is we don't know and I know very well that Neji-san is knows more than he letting on this but it will fall on Hyuga clan business, which means that outside interference are not allowed as long as Hiyashi-sama doesn't want it even it means Hokage help because when it comes to clan matters she doesn't have right to interfere in them as long it not affect on Konoha in any process. Is it right Neji-san? That's right Shikamaru-san. As long we find out ourselves who is behind this or as long our doctor is able to save the life of Hinata-sama we don't need others help because it's clan matter and we can handle ourselves. Stated Neji and others clan heirs also understand that because they now that every clans have their own rules and regulations. But still it's assassination attempt on one of the Hyuga heiress and she also a kunoichi of the leave so that means village can interfere in this matter and Sakura trying to reasoning with them but cut off by the Shikamaru. Sakura-san I thinks you forget about Konoha Law 47 which is created when village is built by the Shodaim Hokage Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara on that time when others clans are wanted to join this village. Others clans are allowed joining the village as long as they swearing their loyalty to the Hokages and Fire Daimyo by protecting Hai no Kuni and their people in which our village is also in them. Also every clans have allowed to keep their clans laws to themselves and their secret which they don't want to share to others and also hokages are not allowed to interfere in any of the clan matter as long as it doesn't affect to village security. In case of Hanada it is same. While it is true that when it come on assassination attempt in any of the ninja even it come to clan heads and heirs village can interference on it but they when shinobi is on leave or it is happen inside their clan boundary on that time hokages and others can't interfere as long as clans itself doesn't wants. Answer Shikamaru in very calm tone. When Sakura and Kiba listed Nara explanation they then remember certain law which they learn on the time of their academy and then understand how every clans works in the village. Sakura then quickly put aside all the Hanada incident and want to get on the real business as really wants to talk to about to them. Okay then, well let's move on to the other matter, said Sakura in calm manner and quickly changing subject. Oh, what are you wanted to talk to us about Sakura-san? Asked Ino who was curious now what she want to talk to them about. Sakura looked at Ino in very surprise and asked, Ino you know what I are we want to talk to about? Ino on her part just shrugged her shoulder and asked, Well will you please enlighten us already Haruno-san? We don't have free time like you do. We are busy. We don't have all day. Now she has become very irritate to pink-haired Banshee. Sakura take back when Ino who she consider her friend, rival who used her family name instead of her name or nickname she give to her when they were chasing after Sasuke to make him fall in love to them but that change after Chunin exam and invasion of Suna Oto. Ino is no longer chasing after Sasuke and now focus on learning about more of the clan jutsu and training for now on. Sakura again ignore Ino who was getting more and more angry to Sakura who just wasting their precious time. Well Ino pig you know it's about demon. Answer Sakura. He is going to banished from the village in Hai no Kuni and all our allies country tomorrow. Me, Kiba and Shino are trying to see you for the last three days but you guys just keep avoiding us but now we find you we just want to know what your plans for tomorrow. Well you know we don't have any plan Haruno-san. Answer Choji first time. What you guys don't have any plan for tomorrow to hurt the demon who hurt us, deceives us, play with our feelings, killing all those people 12 years when he was in his true form and more importantly he tried to kill Sasuke-kun. He hurt Sasuke-kun a lot but thanks to Tsunade-sama he is getting better and soon he will able to return to join active duty. Answered Sakura who doesn't even see that all Naruto friends were try to control their anger. I knew it. Naruto is Kyubi. I knew there is something off about him. Whenever I'm near him I always smell his scent and he always give me the scent of fox. So in order to find out why he always scent like fox I go to my mother to find out and what I find out. He is the Kyubi in human form that was defeated by Yandaimi Hokage and seals all his power inside him and only leaves his shell Kyubi in human form. When I hear it I want to kill him but my mother stopped me said that if I try to kill him he will retaliate and he will kill me, so in order to kill him my mother said to try to befriend with Kyubi and used him in order to escape Sensei Wrath when we on Academy. And it feels so good when I see that he get punished by Sensei or beat by those mobs and failed all those exams. But when we became Genin and take Chunin exam he beat me by using his Kyubi power in front of my mate. I know that damn fox will show it true color. Kiba ranted about how great he is the Naruto. 
I knew that Baka was unnatural. Now I see he's really the Kyubi. He always have energetic and always have freaking stamina while we able to do workout for half day but he can go on non-stop for three days before his stamina run out. Good thing that Kakashi sensei never teach him anything, imagine it demon learn more of our ninja tricks and he became very strong. At least now he will remain weak like always because he is a dope. Only way he able to beat Sasuke kun because he used Kyubi power to save his sorry ass or else he will get himself killed. You know what, I just hope he was getting killed by Sasuke or those entire missions we do take when he was on team 7 but somehow he always survived. I just hope he will live very painful, pathetic life outside the village. No one really care for him. I'm sure his real parents were also left him because he was containing Kyubi inside his body and his soul is already tainted with Kyubi power. Last time I see him I really beat him to the ground but next time I see him, I'm going to punch his tiny brain out of his skull, and rip out his guts for what he did to Sasuke-kun. Said Sakura with Kiba and Shino also agree with her and help her in possible future. The Hokage says he's been officially banished from Konoha. We just have to patient in hopes that demon is dumb enough to return or hide out in a nearby country so we can have a short at him take him out in near future. After all Sakura-san always heating his head on multiple time with all her force so that his brain may damage so that he can't think logically and all those things he learn in academy are false so we can't survive outside the village by its own. We also know that he can't keep quite forever and will do some idiotic things which lead him death. All we do now is to get ready to humiliate him in front of whole village tomorrow, added Shino in his emotionless voice. You know guys, you sicken me Sakura-san, Kiba-san, Shino-san. Said Tenten who now nearly lost his cool after hearing all of them say bad mouth about her friend who helped his teammate to get over with Destiny Carp. What are you talking about? Asked Sakura before she fell down in ground after sensing Ki which is coming from Tenten while Kiba having trouble to stand on ground and Shino who don't show any emotion but some sweat appeared on his face. You hear me you baka. For someone who is top kunoichi, bookworm, fangirl, lost puppy to Uchiha trader, dog mutt who looking all those women like every woman belong to him and even try to rape them with his own eyes. Hell he even looked his own sister and mother like she is just a piece of meat that only exists to help him contain his UAL desire. Bug guy who is second genius to lazy ass Nara over there who looking at cloud right now. You who always think with logical before taking action but right now you are just fools like all those people in the village who think Naruto is a Kyubi. And last not but least Uchiha trader who always thinks himself as some kind of elite and always given everythings in silver plate which he doesn't even deserve. He even think himself as some kind of Kami-sama and we have to grateful that he live in this village or he let us live in this village. He only thought about how he gets more power so that he killed his father who killed his clan and left him alive. He even can't see someone stronger than him. He doesn't even give shit about others and you know Haruno-san he don't even give shit about you, heck he don't even acknowledge your presence. Remarked Tenten. You know what, you guys don't even know the basic about how sealing work. Asked Tenten in which she get no replied from them which make her angry that how Sakura even become Kunoichi of the year when she don't even know about Fuinjutsu, Art of Sealing, and Shino who consider the second sharpest guy in Academy after Shikamaru and Kiba who look like he hear whole new think. She then sign and then take out Kanai from and throw in ground and looking at them. Well let me tell you about something. You see the Kanai? Asked Tenten and getting node from others, let assume this is training ground as village right now and this Kanai is something that which was given to the villagers. Well villagers keep their Kanai for their own security from thief and bandit while shinobi like us who used this to either protected the village or killed our enemy. Suppose when we get some more powerful weapon in future which help even more to protect us from over enemy but we can't keep on the inside houses or any of the important buildings so if someone try to use those weapon against us or get in hand of our enemy and also unable to carry on every place you go with it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Asked Tenten to which after some time they all know their head. So there is few choices left like leave in one of the important building with more security which leave two conclusions, one is villagers are getting suspicious as well as other villages spy. Second is leaving the village with less security because others are grading that weapon. This is where Fuinjutsu comes, when you used Fuinjutsu you concealed anything you want in anything like in piece of paper, scroll or even in human body. 
All you have to do is use proper type of sealing so that it can seal it. If seals are not proper then it can even dangerous to us. When you seal in these objects which are easily able to carry around without even others knowing. That how I carry those weapons in my scrolls because in scroll I seals these entire weapon which are harder for me to carry with my hand and do missions and training, it's even more comfortable when I seal them in scroll. Even our own exploding tags are also made by using Fuan Jutsu. The only downside is not everyone can learn this art because it is more complicated than all those others arts. I know this because I learned it from my uncle before he passed away. I can use make scrolls, exploding tags and others things which only come on knowledge of level 4 and Jiraiya the Toad Sanin is level 6 and he thing call himself as a seal master. For become seal master you have to master all its level then you call themself as seal master. Tenton then continued. Now come on the biju case. There are nine biju in element nation and every village has its own biju. All those villages are fear form the biju because they are so much powerful that they can destroy village whenever they want. We have our own example Kayubi who attack our village 12 years ago which nearly destroy our village. So all of the village do one thing and that is they seal biju but they have so much power so that can't even seal in piece of paper or scroll so only thing they can seal in human and not any kind of human but human child who ages must be less than one year because after one year child develop some of chakra coils in their body and if they used adult to seal the biju then their chakra coils will get overloaded by biju chakra and killing him her and also let biju also getting free. That why they Yandaimi seal Biju in Naruto San who born on that night so that its chakra can be overloads and killed him so that he can use his chakra without harming others and for your information if you think killing Naruto San also killed Kayubi then you are Baka because for what I learned from the library is that Kayubi is made of mass of chakra and even if we killed its bodies it will reform again and same goes to the others Bijus as well. Naruto San is a jailer while Kayubi his prisoner. Don't think Naruto San and Kayubi are same thing, they are different. Explain Tenten about the concept of sealing in Biju to everyone. There is no way that demon is human. My mother told me he is a demon and this is verified by Tsunade Sama WHO is our Hokage. Even Jiraiya Sama WHO is looked after for demon for few months also said that he is a demon. If they said Baka is a demon then he is a demon. That's all I want to know. There is cold days in hell I even consider demon is not a demon. He should be grateful that we left him alive for now but know this his time will come. When Sasuke-kun do what Yandaimi can't do, he will kill demon and will avenge all those who he killed by demon hand. Snapped Sakura who was getting angry because Tenten said bad mouth about her Sasuke, who calling him traitor while thinking Naruto is a human not as demon. Sakura not only one who don't think Naruto is not a demon but a human. Kiba and Shino are also same boat as her because when they were young their parents always tell them that Naruto is a Kayubi, which make Naruto as a demon and don't too friendly with him or he might hurt them. So it's very hard from them consider him as human. They also agree on Sakura last part in because all the time he ever gets beating was from Inazuka and Abarame clan members they left him alive or they may able to kill demon all those years ago. Naruto should be grateful about that village allowed him to live all those years. Well he is not because this village should be grateful that he allowed those villagers to let them abuse him, beat him, spats him, otherwise he has all those time in which he can allow Kayubi to take over his body and destroy this village. He may even become worse than what we know Gara san who regains his sense after the Chunin exam. If Naruto san allowed Kayubi to take over his body then nearly half of the villagers has already been end up death. Remarked Shikamaru who was now unable to control his anger and was on last boat before he leash out and beat Sakura, Kiba and Shino to their inch of their life. You hear me this Haruno san. For someone who is Kunoichi of the year and consider have all the knowledge of all those books and consider by others as a bookworm you are a stupid and lack the perception to see the truth because she can't see anything other than her Sasuke kun. We know that Gara san who also same as Naruto san who carry the Aikibi inside him was also treated badly as Naruto san in his own village. Both of them growing up by themselves but things different was while Naruto san care every one of them in the village while Gara san who only care for himself. Naruto san is the one who saved this village from total annihilation. Said irritate Ino who has also become more and more angry to Sakura and her two companions. It is proves that Naruto is a monster if Gara is just like him. 
said Sakura before she felt killer intent which was coming from Neji and Shikamaru Ryu which she quickly shut up. You foolish fangirl if you think Naruto-san is monster then tell me. Who was the one who saved your and your team life whenever you're on the mission? A mission whom I find out is high for any kind of newly graduate from the academy nearly a month ago without even getting proper training. Who was it save you and your precious Sasuke-kun when you taking Chunin exam? Who was it that saved you from the Gara-san deathly grip? Who was it that defeated Gara-san in combat during the invasion of Suna Oto? It was Naruto. He was the one who saved your pathetic miserable life or he is the one who saved your life more than you think. He was there for you when you were rejected by your Sasuke for date and try to lift your spirit by offering to go on date with you. He was there when you need to beat something, he present himself so that you release your anger. He was there when your Sasuke-kun left the village and he promised you he will bring him back for you so that you can acknowledge his existence. When he bring traitor Uchiha back who give him two Chidori on his in which one is very close to his heart but able to seduce him. Instead of getting thank from you what did he get from you in the village? He get beat down by you, banished from the village and all its allies, terminated his summoning contract to toad and even pass the law by the toads and slugs that he will not get any other summoning contract in near future. But more importantly this village spat on Yandaimi wish to see Naruto-san as a hero but what he got, he see as demon, monster, demon spawn and many more things. Said Neji who is keeping Rock Lee with the help of Tenten and Choji in his grip who want to use his Goken style to beat the crap out of his old time crush and by the passing minutes it become even more difficult. And before any of you said any other bad things about Naruto-san which we don't like it. So I or we just have said this leave before situations become even worse than now. Otherwise you guys end up getting joined the hospital for the time been. Said Choji who is also getting angry the way Kiba. Shino and Sakura is bad mouth about his second best friend Naruto. He don't like when people bad mouth about his friends. When Sakura, Kiba and Shino see that their old classmates are now on getting hostile towards them they chose wisely to keep their mouth shut because they all know very well that they are heavily outnumbers, plus they all are royally pissed. They don't have any choice and decide to leave, maybe they will have some talk after they cool down and then they will see that who truly Naruto is demon. Before you all take leave, I just have to say something, said Ino which halt all three of them and turn back to look at her, consider this as a final meeting as a friend for now on because our friendship is over and don't show you faces in front of us anymore because for this point on Yamanaka, Nara, Akamichi, Hayuga are not friends with Inazuka, Aburame, Serutobi and Senju clan but also we are now mortal enemy of Uchiha and all those civilian council members and their respected families. You guys are not allowed in set foot on our clan compounds. If you do you will consider as an intruder and will be punished accordingly. Even Hokage-san can't do anything herself can't do anything. One more thing Haruno-san you and your family are not even welcome in my family flower shop and if you or your family show their ugly face in my family shop then me and anyone of members of my clan will throw you and your family out on street. Finish Ino who along with everyone else also nodding their head that they will also stand with same decision with Ino and others are very serious about their threat. Three of them want to say something but didn't say anything and leave before thing are getting even more messy than it is right now. When Sakura, Kiba and Shino left they all become clammed down and sit on the ground while in Shikamaru case he lay down and looking over the clouds. All of them sit like this for few minutes. Hey guys I just thinking about something for the last two weeks after we come back from the, retrieval, mission. Suddenly said Shikamaru who getting others attention. What is it Shikamaru? Asked Choji who taking out bag of chip out of nowhere and start eating it while Tenten, Neji and Lee see this are getting sweat droop. What the hell, when did he take out bag of chips and start eating it? I didn't even see it were the collected thought of those three while Ino who just signed because after spending so much time with him and lazy Nara getting used to it. Shikamaru also see this an expression of others and said, troublesome, under his breath and didn't care about what his friend doing. Well you guys know how the mission goes, right? Asked lazy Nara while others knowed. Yes, you guys did succeed your mission while Neji-kun, Choji-san, Naruto-san and Mutter getting injured badly while you Shikamaru-san who only broke his figure and Lee-san who got some scars on his body. 
answered Tenton who find out when retrieval team members coming back to hospital one by one and find out what happened. Yeah after fighting them and get back there is something I just realized when we're recovering or getting recovered from their injuries. Said Shikamaru who is referring to Neji and Choji who was still recovering from their injuries after from battle against Sound 4. While we may win our fight against Sound 4 or should I say Sound 5 and completely our mission with some miracles and sharp minds. It also shows us that there are so many things we have yet to learn. Not just our only clan style or techniques but also others skills which our clans are not even learning. If we only learning about our clan's style then we just keeping ourselves for getting even more danger than right now. Stated Shikamaru seriously which get others serious as well. How is that Shikamaru kun? Asked Rock Lee who is now serious because after his fighting against Kimamaro, who is also member of the Sound 5, couldn't beat him with the help of Gara. They were only able to survive because Kimamaro already dying who just keep his body to beyond the limit so that he can able to beat Lee and Gara. Troublesome, muttered Shikamaru then looking at Lee. We all know that all our clans are specialized in specific thing which we all know but also others as well. I'm not just talking about ourselves or others in the village. I'm talking about others villages because after fight three great wars every villages know about our clans and how we fighting those wars. I even sure that Iwa and Kumo are even teaching about us in their academy like ours. They might even develop some countermeasure against some of our clans and if we fight them in near future then we may end up getting dead. Finished Shikamaru in which others are also agree with him because what he said it very true. If they continued fighting like in their clan style then they will end up dead in near future. If not before five great nations again starting war. You're right Shikamaru-san when you put it on that way. So tell us what we should do so that we can avoid from happening. Asked Neji who also agree with him and possible tell this to Hiyashi-sama so that he can avoid his clan monts end up dead. The thing is if I tell you guys about this. There is some who may agree the thing which I'm going to suggest while some not because some of the clan traditional like Hyuga. The only thing we can do right now is to increase our arsenal like learning other skill which our clan don't practices such as Kenjutsu, Ninjutsu, Genjutsu, Medical Ninjutsu and many others things along with other type of Taijutsu which is not using by our own clan. If we do that then we become unknown to our enemy who is present outside and inside the village. It will also give us some edge because if we fight them with all those new ability then we may survive. Answered Shikamaru who thinking after his fight with Tuyuya who completely outnumber and outsmart him everything. He only survived because Tamari no Subaku, Gara's sister from Suna, save his lazy ass before Tuyuya deliver finishing blow. After that he come back village with her and after some time he find out what happened on the mission and how his team under his command get injured badly. After that he meet his team and find out how their fight go with their opponent and find out their enemy already know how to fight with them and counter his every move. After that he get back to his room and think about his and his team fight with Sound 5. He knows they knew about their move because of Orochimaru who was one time part of the village before his defect and from his own village. Then something click in his mind that if Orochimaru come up with something like that then there is the possibility that other villages also come up with their plan to counter them in future. So after thinking about for the last two week then he come to the conclusion that if they come in this situation like that then there is way for them to survive is they have to learn something different which their enemy don't even think about that like something about learning other than clan techniques. When other hears him first they don't want to accept it but after hearing his explanation they also agree with him. They know that their village already fights three great ninja wars which their village wins no matters the odds but if they fighting any other village in future then they might lose to them. So all of them come to agree with Shikamaru ideas that they must learn something different other than they already know which is suitable to them in near future. You are right Shikamaru, when you put it this way, we have to learn something other than our clan techniques, reply Choji who agree with him along with others. So hear me before we go home and think what we might want to learn it. First all we need to do is go to our parents and tell them what we discussed it and tell them that what we do to help us getting stronger. If our families agree with us then they help us getting strong or if not then we all have to do as training in secrets then we show them our power in front of all of them with success result. Also I want you all to increase your training programs. Stated Shikamaru with others nodding their heads. Okay guys see you after one week for now right in this training ground and tell us what we want to learn. 
If possible we may able to help each others to learn different this. Also we fight with each other every week to measure each other strength and help others to catch up with us. Finished Shikamaru with other also agree with him. After that they all left training ground to their respected home to discuss their plan with their family. Ichiraku family stand inside the village. Inside the Ichiraku family stand both Chuki and Ayame are inside but they don't open the door of the stand. They were sitting on the living room which is top of the house. Both of them depressed that their special costumer who they looked up as their own family member got banished from the village for doing his job because he hurt the village precious Uchiha by using Kayubi power. When both of them hear that Sasuke leave the village to join the Orochimaru for power in Naruto and his team were sent to retrieve him they were worried about his and other safety. When they come back they find out mission were succeed but all them members sent to Shikamaru got injured very badly. Naruto on other hand got worse but made it alive somehow but they are not allowed to see him because hospital staff stopped them to see him to which they leave hospital after spending some time and get back home. Then after two days Naruto discharged her from the hospital to which Ichiraku family concern about his health and asked if he okay and he should we out like that in which he replied that he completely fine. After that they asked him about his mission in which he told everything like how he and other fight with Sound 5 Shinobi, how he catch up to Sasuke what he talked to Sasuke about and then fight and how Naruto beat the crap out of Sasuke and drag his sorry ass to the village. He also tell that he used Kyubi Chakra to beat him because Sasuke also using Cruise Mark to its full level in which he retailed by using Kyubi Chakra to its one tail. He also tells that how he didn't get treatment from the others even Tsunade and Shizune herself don't come to heal him. When they hear this they all become confused because they thought Tsunade and Shizune looked up as their own family member before they even thought about even more he left after eating his ramen. After week they find out from Shikamaru who come to stand and tell that Naruto got banished for hurting Uchiha and using Kayubi power by the godaim Hokage and the council in which Nara, Akamichi, Yamanaka, Hayuga and Kurama clan are against it but other also support by the fire daimyo for the village but as well Hai no Kuni and their allied nations. When they hear this they become very anger at council but they are more anger at Tsunade and Jiraiya because they know that both Tsunade and Jiraiya are godparents of Naruto and they just banished him like he is nothing more than some kind of tool to them because he became more and more powerful for them to keep him under control and throw him out of the village because of the Akatsuki come for Naruto and may destroy the village and they don't need him anymore. When Tyuki and Ayame asked about what happened in council room in which Shikamaru tell which he informed after his dad come from the council meeting and tell him what happened, what happened and by the end of the story both of them pissed after hearing this. They can't believe that Sandame and his supporters are behind every bad thing happened to Naruto because they want to make Naruto village weapon but failed miserably. Tsunade, Jiraiya, Kakashi even Aruka and Konohamaru who Naruto consider them as their brothers are also behind all this plan so Naruto will loyal to the village. When they hear this they want to hurt all those asshole but they know very well no matter what they can't even hurt them and expose themselves in front of the whole village and tell them who they really are. So they swallow their anger and go straight to Naruto apartment to see him to find out how is doing. When they reach to his apartment they meet with others who also find out Naruto banishment and they really care about him. When they go inside in Naruto apartment they see him packing his stuff in various scrolls. When Naruto see him he stop all his doing and meet with them then everyone was trying to find out what actually happened, even they already know but still want to hear his story in meeting in which he tell them what happened. After that they just talk about small thing like where he may go but before Naruto answer them Kakashi come his apartment said without looking at him said lot of bad thing to Naruto. He even went far call him traitor trash and failure without even looking at him and threat him to kill him if he showed himself in front him ever again and leave his apartment. They again swallow their anger forget about it for now and again focus on Naruto and find that he don't even slight affected to him. He tell everyone just forget about him for now and began to tell his what happened, after that everyone bait their farewell by given various things which help in his future journey. After that they all left his apartment and wish him luck in future in their mind. Next day Neji come in Ichiraku shop and tell them that Naruto along with Hinata leave the village before council decide to make some type of show in front of whole village. 
When they find Naruto really leave the village they become very sad but they now he have to leave or Danzo and others elders will capture Naruto when he out of the village and bring him back without others find out and start working to made him weapon of the village which they always wants for all those years. After that Neji leave the shop. After Neji leave they close the shop and don't even open it even for those customer who always eat ramen in his shop. They just sit in their house thinking about their time with Naruto who come in his stand to eat ramen all the time. First time he come in the shop and eats it when he doesn't have money, when he always does his pranking and tell them about what he do and many more other things. All the time they thinking about they spent with Naruto made them happy but sad that they will not see him few years. Soon Tsuki get up from his chair and move to his study table and sit down on his chairs and take out one scroll from the drawer and took his pen from the table and write some something in scroll. After few minutes he then finished what he writing on it and then rolled the scroll and sealed with his blood which only opened by his and her daughter blood are the one who will received it. When he check all that everything was right in scroll then then go through various hand seals and then slash his hand on table while muttering some words under his breath. When he smash his hand on table scroll suddenly vanished from the table. When Tyuki see this he smile that his scroll will reach to his friends without even know the village. When he done he just signed before turning turn his gaze to his daughter who also looking at him curiously. Is it wise to tell them about this? I know too San you care for Naruto like he is your own child but if they find out what happened then they will get mad and burn the village to ground not even leave survivor. Asked Ayame to her father about the scroll which he sends to his friends. Yes it has to be done. They must know about this after all he is responsible of our until he lived in this village. But now Naruto is banished from the village and its entire allied nations and not forget he is not alone. Hanada is also with him so they need help and I think they will help him. After all Naruto is one of them. Answered Chuki while he shifted his gaze from his daughter to his table where few moments ago scroll was before it vanished. Ayame sign his father answer before she speaks. I hope he is okay out there with Hanada-chan and meet with them before village find out he left the village. I hope so. But we already know that he will take care of himself and now with Hanada-chan. If my I think he may already reach the border of Hai no Kuni and Kaminari no Kuni and may borrow the ship to reach that country in which his family is living right now. Stated Chuki while his daughter also nodding his head. Yes he may go there because right now he have follow the requirement of the banishment because if he not he may danger the life of Hinata if he stay in the element nations because Kumo who take every chance to get their hand on the Hayuga member especially the main house and Hinata is one of them. If Kumo find out there is single member of main house of Hayuga clan out of the village and traveling with Kayubi Jinchiriki is moving to their country they will send larger amount of shinobi to capture both of them. It good thinking that Naruto leave the village before anyone of them find out. Said Ayame with sad smile on her face in which father put hand on her shoulder to confront her. In which Ayame silently thank her father. Yeah and in few months lot of thing will go down hills in the village because they did was very bad thing. They not only banished the hero of the village but also the person who brought many allies to join this village and country. When others villages and countries find out what this village do to Naruto who consider him as their hero they will null every alliance they have with Konoha and Hai no Kuni. Said Chuki who know what going to happen to the village in few months and when that happened village will no longer consider as a strong village in front of other villages. Yes and in few years world will once again witness the power of great Uzumaki clan like they did all those years ago. Said Ayame in determined voice with his father also agree with her. Soon in few years everyone in the element nation will witness the power of the great Uzumaki clan. When Uzumaki clan show themselves in front of the world they will fear, afraid and pray to the Kami-sama that they will not be the one who face their wrath because if they do then they will be wiped out from the face of the earth without even leaving its traces. Hokage Tower. In Hokage Tower various Chunin and Jonin are preparing for the event which is going to happen tomorrow with village itself also preparing themselves. It's like they are preparing for the some sort of festival. They decorate the Hokage Tower with various lights which is placed on the Hokage building, securing the flowers for tomorrow event and many more things. They look like full of energy right now if they see it right now. The event which they are preparing right now is banishment of village demon who is considering as the Kayubi brat aka Uzumaki Naruto. 
Most of the villagers don't like Naruto because he carries Kyubi inside in the body so they always hurt him every time they get the chance. They were manipulated by their beloved Sandame Hokage who always let them get away after they beat the Naruto but no matter what if they try to kill him they were always stopped by Sandame. They always want Naruto to get out of the village after giving so many beating but no matter what he stayed in the village but no anymore. Naruto got banished by the order of the Godaim Hokage and the councils which were also supported by the Fire Daimyo. They were happy that they don't have to tolerate him not anymore because he will be thrown out of the village tomorrow and think that they will not see him in future. Right now villagers prepare themselves so they humiliate Demon Brad before he leave the village because they think that no one care about him but they were wrong because there were some villagers who were not happy. They were the people who acknowledge him as a Naruto not as Demon or Kyubi Brat. But right now in Hokage Tower in Hokage office, Tsunade were sitting on Hokage chairs and counting all the money which she by sealing the tickets to the villagers to those who want to beat the Kyubi brat for the last time before he left the village. When she seals the ticket in morning almost every tickets were sells within the few minutes even if the tickets were very costly so she order more tickets which were soon put on seals when were present to the villagers. It was surprise for her to see that nearly everyone from the villager just wanted to get some piece of him before demon left the village to the enemy lands but she will not let him leave demon like that. She was going to put him on the bingo book with kill on sight order along with higher amount of price on his head so that he will not live his life not live his rest of his pathetic life happily. She was happy that she gained lot of amount of money from the brat. With that amount of money C can buy very high amount of sake alcohol for few years and she guessed that she even get more of it after he left from the village because when Naruto reached 18 year his family account which is frozen by the Sandame Hokage 12 year ago when his parents were dead in Kyubi attack so that Danzo and civilian council will not take all the money for themselves which is good thing because if Naruto find out that his parents left him huge amount money for him. He will take every Ryo before he leave the village. Tsunade don't want to give Naruto his family possession because she thought that all that money were belonged to her because Naruto mother humiliate her all those years ago in front of whole village. That is the main reason why she doesn't want to give his inheritance and with that money she will use them for buying more sake and playing gambling. She doesn't know how fool she was think she outsmart Naruto because Naruto outsmart him in everything and she will pay the price all those things she did in future. She was so much in counting the money that she didn't hear her office windows open and someone just sit on the windows and looking before he coughed a little to get her attention. When Tsunade hear the cough voice she just swing her chair to towards the sound and find out his office windows open and Jiraiya were sitting on the windows who looking at her happily. Hey hi I'm back, said Jiraiya happily to Tsunade who also happy to see him back before the festival is going to start. Oh, Jiraiya welcome back. I hope the mission which I give you two days ago was completed. Asked Tsunade happily which was responded by the smile before nodding his head. Yes Haim everything was already done. I already tell them about what going to happen through my spy network. They will know very soon and act before we know it. Also I even add all the detail on the bounty houses. Now all you have to do is issues new bounty book with new entry so that they will add them and they will pursue him every corner of the element nation. There is no place for him to hide, replied Jiraiya happily which makes Tsunade even happier. Thank you Jiraiya, you made my day more than happy then right now. I'll issue new bingo book in few days, said Tsunade who happy that the mission which she give Jiraiya two days ago was completed and all she have to do now issues new bingo book and everything will go according to her plan. You're welcome, anything for you Haim, replied Jiraiya then look at her table in which lot of money were on table then look at Tsunade. So where do you get this much money? Asked Jiraiya who was surprised to see amount of the money on her table. Tsunade see this he looking all those money then to her who also do the same then smile before she replied, Oh. That, I got it from the villagers by selling all those ticket to the village. It looks like lot of people wanted to pay their farewell before he left the village. Answered Tsunade before returning to counting her money. Ooh ooh. They paid that much so they can pay him back for all the pranks he do in the village. I also wanted to see them what they do when he leave the village. Said Jiraiya who was also wanted to get some pay back from the brat for calling him, Ero Sanim, in front of the village and all those hookers her played with them. So how he's doing, is anybody wanted to visit him in his apartment to beat him for hurting their precious Uchiha? 
asked Jiraiya who is thinking about so many people already paid their visit to Demon Kid and beat him to hurt their precious Uchiha. He may not like the Uchiha but he surely not like Naruto. Well some people already have before council forbids everyone to see him because out of Kakashi nearly all of them support Demon in one way or another. Due to this I have to forbid everyone so that he will not get more supporters than he has right now. I even have to assign four more squads of ANBUs along with root ANBUs which is provided by Danzo and the elders to secure Naruto's apartment so no one will meet him and he will not get out before his official banish. Answered Tsunade to Jiraiya question while still counting her money. When Jiraiya hear that some people who paid their visit are those who support Naruto despite Sandame and council want them to see him as demon who reborn from Kyubi into human so that they will not support him but it's look like he may get some supports from few people. But he happy that Kakashi paid his visit and said many ill words before he leave him it in his sorry states. Jiraiya accepts Tsunade action so that Naruto will not gain more supporters than he is right now because if he gain more than village will be on civil war in future which he don't want it. He already knows that Nara, Yamanaka, Akamichi, Hayuga and Kurama clan are fully supporting him along with some Jonin and Chunin. He just hope when Naruto leave the village everything back on track for before Yandaimi became Hokage. Well that's good decision Haim by stopping all those who may support the brat or they might do something which will affect us for the long run. Said Jiraiya to which Tsunade paid no mind. So are you looking forward to tomorrow event? Asked Tsunade which got smile on the Jiraiya face. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to see how village said their farewell to the demon brat. Answered Jiraiya in his cheerful voice and show that how happy is right now. Before you go Jiraiya I want you to seal the demon chakra completely for his rest of his life, so that he can't use chakra to save his pathetic life if he come across our enemy ninjas. Said Tsunade in his serious tone to which Jiraiya thought about it for some time but got no idea because sealing some people chakra completely which is very advanced skill in which only true sealing master can perform which he is truly not. He can seal someone chakra or suppressed biju chakra for some time but not completely. After thing about so few minutes he signed before looking at Tsunade and said, Well I can seal his chakra with seal but it's not permanent and even with the Gogu Fuin, 5 element seal, which only stay in his body for nearly 1 or 2 months in which he can't access the Kyubi chakra and his chakra control which mess up more than it's right now. If Sensei is was here right now then then can make those seals which you want to put on Naruto. Answered Jiraiya in sad tone and become sad even more when Tsunade frown about it after learning it. Tsunade then signed before looking at her desk and said, Then ready all those damn seal which you can and to put them on the demon which gives so edge against him when we are hunter ninja or bounty hunters find him and killed him before he know it. There is no way he can hide for long because he is a troublemaker and he got pranking side from the red hair of Uzumaki. Also after when he left the village you have to make some more seals which were given to the village guards. If Brad wants some revenge for us in future with the help of Kyubi then we able to beat him with those seals. Order Tsunade in which Jiraiya knowed his head because what Tsunade is said also true, surely he didn't attack the village with Kyubi because there is some people who lived in the village or still care about him but still he made those seals if he change his mind and take revenge from them in future then those seals will stop him and also try to come up with new and advanced type of seals to stop Jinchuriki with minimum effort. Right away Haim. Said Jiraiya then leave Tsunade in her office who's still counting all her money. Little did they know this will be the last time both of them see that much money before village economy crush because all those foolish decision they take. Unknown location, currently in the middle of a noon a person who is sitting on a double O circular shaped room with his desk facing the main door to his office and with a large windows behind the desk so that he could look out the windows and over the small village which is surrounded by the various mountains. On both sides of the walls of the circular room in front of his desk were bookshelves filled with scrolls and books as well as a small spiral stairs that allow him and all those people who authorized to enter this room to go to the platform of the second level of his bookshelves as well as go to the balcony that was right above the his desk. He was currently sitting there and reading scroll right now which contain important information which is happening outside those mountain range. He was going for another scroll when suddenly a scroll comes out with bright shine light on his desk. When he see the scroll he pick it up and starting to inspect the seal to find who send this scroll. 
When he see blood seal on the scroll he immediately understand who send this scroll and immediately bite his thumb and put some blood on the seal which open the scroll and start reading what is written inside of it. After some time when he finished reading the scrolls he was become anger but it didn't show on his face but inside he was very angry. Soon he flares some of his chakra to call all of those who need to know about this and he was sure when they hear this they will become mad. Soon his office double door open and four people come inside the office and door of office close itself. Man who is sitting on his desk signal to his guards and leave him alone with his family to which guards left without further delay. When all the guards left the office he activate privacy seals along with reinforced seals so that no one listen the conversation which is about to happen and save his office which is going to be destroyed by some people from the group when they hear it. He look at the group and see that there were three females in which two women who is around mid-20 to late 25, one is young girls who is around 12 year and a young man who is around 15 or 16. He was signed and knows that this was going to be one hell of the meeting and try and put some smile on his faces. Thanks you for all you come in here on such a short notice. Started man who starts the conservation which caught every one of them of guard. They just hope everything alright because whenever he talks like that something bad happen. Honey is everything alright? Asked one woman who is concerned and want to find out if what happened and start to him talk like that. Why yeah everything alright dear? Answered man who doesn't want to put him on the edge from the start of the meeting. But you don't sound like that. Said second woman. W what do you mean I don't sound like that honey? Asked man who now getting nervous while curse himself for getting caught. While two women glaring at him like he is some sort of stupid person who asking question to them. Well you always sound like that when something wrong happen you or about to happen. Again said the second woman which was knowed by the others who also present in the office. I'm that easy to read guys. Asked man with deadpan voice while looking at them. Yes you are, answered everyone with deadpan voice which made sweat drop it on the back of his head. He just shakes his head and with sign looking at them with serious look which made others serious as well. Well you are right, I just got latest information what happened in the Konoha, said man which put every one of them on alert. What is to San? asked young man which got man attention and who look at him then look at other. There is some kind of event are going to happen tomorrow in Konoha. Answered man which put everyone on the edge and they know whatever this event they are not going to like it. What is kind of event is going to happen tomorrow? Is this event related to us too San? Asked young girl who was looking at her father for some answer. She wanted to know want going on Konoha and how much it is going to affect them in coming future. Man look at her young girl and saw that her daughter saw her daughter was concerned look on her face also his brother while woman's look at him what this is all about. He sign again then take out scroll and look at them. It best thing is you read yourself. Said man the tosh the scroll towards them which is caught by the one of the female then see the scroll then to him then scroll then she open up the scroll. When she open up the scroll both young man and other female come to her and start reading from her shoulders. Dear friend, I hope you, your family and the clan are doing fine and also let you know that my daughter and I are all right. Also I'm sorry for unable to report you for last few months is because there is lot of thing happen in the village as well as element nations. There is something you may like but there is lot of things you might not like it at the end of the report. So I'm going to let you know what happening after Naruto go to his first C rank mission which you know turn into the A rank mission. First is same his sensei still not teaching him any jutsu and all his time were focus on Uchiha brat who no think himself as a kamisama because he getting lot of attention not only from his team sensei but in secret he also getting some training from the sandame who no consider to let Uchiha to look for some jutsu from scroll of ceiling. But Naruto doing all his training in secret training ground which no one but we know about it. Second the Chunin exam is going to be on Konoha because of this council wants all the rookies team take exam if not the Uchiha team. All rookies senseis along with Guy are letting their team to enter the Chunin exam but tell you the truth no one ready except Guy team because they were trained more than years and they are quite good team if you ask me. They were able to pass first test which we all know is written test which was conduct by Morino Ibiki who was head of torture and interrogation department by Naruto who used some inspired speech which give inspirations to other genin. Then their second protector was Mitarashi Anko which is held on training ground 44 aka forest of the death for scroll test. 
Well test maybe went well if Snake Sanin Orochimaru also didn't take the exam in disguise and give one of his crush mark to Uchiha also Snake Basted gives Naruto, Gogyu Fuin, seal in one hell of beating so that he can't tap to Kyubi sama power and don't cause any more interference in his future plans. After they survived five days they made to the tower. Then prelims were held in which Uchiha, Aburame Shino, Konkuro from the Suna, Tamari from the Suna, Nara Shikamaru, Hayuga Neji, Gara from the Sand, Dosu from the Sound and Naruto who passed his test who beat Inazuka Kiba without even showing any of his skills. They decide with who face in the finals which was held in one month break. Naruto opponent was Neji who tried to kill his own cousin sister Hinata when he won the match but was stopped by the other team senseis. Naruto then come to the ground and help her to get into the stretcher and then swear Hinata blood oath to beat the crap out of Neji in front of everyone. He left for do some serious training for two reasons. First to complete his oath to beat the carp out of Neji and second to prepare himself to fight his future enemy who will show themselves in due time. But before he goes Sandame send Jiraiya the Toad Sanin aka known as Aero Sanin named by Naruto himself to keep an eye on him, so he goes like the way he do back his academy days and only learn summoning toads by signing toads contract and try to relearn his water walking exercise. Also try to help him to tapping Kyubi sama power and nothing more. After month finals have come in Naruto fight Neji where he beat him without even show his bloodline for some reason which I don't know why but whatever reason it is I think it good decision because when Uchiha and Gara fight come to end, village was invaded by the Odo and Suna. Their trump card is Gara kid because he was Jinchiriki of Shukaku the Aikibi but beat by Naruto himself. Soon village ninja able to defend themselves and push remaining enemy ninja out of the village but suffer heavy casualty. Sandame also die fighting against Orochimaru who is disguised as Yandaimi K's cage. Sandame last act is seal away Orochimaru hand in Shinigami stomach and take away the ability to use hands and well as his jutsus. After that Naruto was again going to resume his training but Jiraiya confront him and take him with him to find Tsunade the slug Sanin. During that time Jiraiya teach him Rasengan which take him nearly one year to master it but Naruto able to master it nearly in one week also win a bet against Tsunade who give him Shodime necklace. After that they were confronted by the Orochimaru and his right hand man Kabuto and fight which they able to push them back and let them retreat. After they back to village after some time when they completely heal from their battle. After that Tsunade become Godaim Hokage and follow Hiruzen footstep and promote only Nara Shikamaru for his strategy which he used in Chunin exam as well as time on the invasion but they don't promote Naruto for two reasons. First if he promoted then he will no longer under control of Kakashi who only used him as a way to make Uchiha strong than the others and make Uchiha think that he is stronger and invisible than any of his age group. He also let Uchiha beat Naruto in spar and don't signal fight is finished until Naruto get Kakashi satisfied. During those spar he let Uchiha use ninjutsu on Naruto while forbidden Naruto to use cage bush and no jutsu, shadow clone, to make clone and any others ninjutsu if he know, so he only option left is to fight him against taijutsu to defend himself. Second if Naruto get promoted then he will put up with different team which is can organized by the Jonin commander where Naruto might learn so many thing which the council don't want. If he learns more of the skill then Naruto became more and more powerful by doing this they unable to under control on him which they all afraid. When Naruto denied for getting promotions then he decided that he show his power bit by bit in missions. Do this all those missions he takes with his team are complete with flying colors and also gain alliance for the village which will be finalized in year to make village stronger. They were agree those alliance because Naruto was the one who impressed all of them with his performance but village see that Uchiha is the one who get those alliances from the different villages and country, even Kakashi is the one led Uchiha all those fame and glory which was done by the Naruto to Uchiha. I don't know why but he has some serious issue from kid or more importantly from you guys. When Naruto decide show his little power it led different reactions from Team 7 and the council. While Kakashi and pink haired Banshee who still unable to see that Naruto show more and more power in all those mission because they always ignore him while they keep focus on the Uchiha while Uchiha also see that Naruto is getting stronger than him slowly which irritate him to no end. Some high council member also see that he was getting stronger slowly and now catching up to with Uchiha and soon he will become more powerful in near future. Nearly three weeks ago, 
Wen Uchiha was hospitalized who getting injured on last mission when Naruto paid visit while Banshee who sit on Uchiha's sides like lost puppy. During that time Uchiha challenged Naruto for duel which Naruto was trying to avoid but due to Uchiha demanding keeps demanding he agree to fight. They reach on hospital rooftop and start fighting but it turn out very bad because their fight was turning to death match. If Kakashi don't interfere during their fight when they were using big guns they will hurt each other pretty badly. After that he give lecture to both of them but his lecture is more specific to Naruto if I'm right. Then next day we find out Uchiha defect to the village to join Orochimaru for gaining power because he think if he stay in the village he will not able to take his revenge from the Fukugu who was Uchiha Sasuke father for killing his clan. We find out Nara Shikamaru, Akamichi Choji, Inazuka Kiba, Abarame Shino and Naruto were sent after him to bring him back without killing him. They were fight with Orochimaru elite guards sound five separately and able to beat them with backup as Rock Lee and Gara and his siblings. During that their fight with Sound 5 some members were such as Choji, Neji and Kiba were injured badly and brought them back for treatment. While Naruto keep chasing after Uchiha and catch up to him on Valley of the End where Naruto try to talk to Sasuke about his decision to join the Orochimaru but he don't listen to him. Sasuke again try to fight Naruto but this time to kill him. Naruto have to hold back lot of his strength to bring him back alive with minimum injuries. Naruto able to beat Uchiha but get lot of injuries while Uchiha get very less injured. When Naruto brought him back he thought he will get acknowledgement from the village but got none from the villagers while he get some acknowledgement from the ninja. When he enter the village with Uchiha they take him to the hospital for healing their injuries but Tsunade give stick order that no one is allowed to heal Naruto while she and other doctor focus on healing Uchiha. When we hear that he completed his mission, we rush to see him but hospital staffs not allow us to see him. We later find out that Tsunade also order the hospital staff that no one allows to visit the Naruto or they will face punishment. Naruto heal himself with Kayubi Sama Chakra after that he leave hospital but before he leaves he visits his teammate Uchiha and try to reason with him but Uchiha don't listen him. After that he leaves his hospital to his apartment to take some rest. Next day he goes to his team meeting spot for his other teammate and his sensei. After waiting for some time his banshee appear. When Naruto see her he try to start his civil some sort of conversation with her but she sucker punch on Naruto face and start beat hell out of him. Naruto don't even lift a finger against her. After banshee beat her she said lot of awful thing to Naruto but Naruto don't even retaliate one. When she leaves he sit there for long time but before he think to go anywhere he was counsel summon him. When he got there he asked why they summon him. They tell him it about Uchiha retrieval mission. They were asked him detail what happened on the retrieval mission in which he tell everything what happened. After that civilian counsel try to false charges on Naruto but Inoshika Cho, Hiyashi and Unkai are only member who take his side but rest of them are with civilian counsel. They soon agree for Naruto banishment because they were unable to keep him under their control as well as they don't want to feel the wrath of S rank missing nins organization Akatsuki who may try to come for Naruto in future. While they take vote Jiraiya show himself when Tsunade call him where whole council learn heroes and plans for Naruto to make him village weapons. After that they terminate Naruto's toad contract. After that he was banished from the Konoha as well as Hai no Kuni as well as their allies. After that they place him house arrest in his apartment for one week because Naruto still got one week before official banished. Day after the council meeting we meet him before Naruto getting himself ready to leave the village without village even knowing. When we get there and listening his side of story we find out how much dark this village becomes since Shodime and Nadaim time or this village is always be dark. I don't know. After that everyone were about to say goodbye but Kakashi come and said lot of awful thing to him but Naruto don't care what he said. After that we all take our leave. Day after that Neji come to our shop and tell us that Naruto leaves the village but he doesn't leave the village alone. Hanada also leave the village. He tell me that before he left the village he was secretly summoned by the Hiyashi where he meet Hiyashi and her daughter Hanada, Inoshika Cho, Unkai as well as her niece Yukumo also there. Hiyashi asked Naruto a favor to save Hanada for the elders because they were going to brand her to cage bird seal and throw her to branch family where she becomes slave to them or even worse. Naruto agreed to help her as well he said that he will replay them for those entire things they did for help him. 
After that he left the village by using Hyuga's secret passage to out of the village without even knowing them. If I was right about Naruto one thing is that he will try to leave the element nation as soon as possible. He is right now heading towards the border between Hai no Kuni and Kaminari no Kuni where he just have to wait for his transport. So I suggest you meet with him before he do something hash. Also I'm sorry that I can't help Naruto as I want because if I help him any more than that then Sandame will take some kind of action against me and my daughter which I don't want. I hope you will understand my point of view my friend. Also we hope that he will all right and take care himself. Also we hope that Naruto get lot stronger than he is right now. When he became stronger than everyone on the element nations as well as world must be ready for the return of the Uzumaki and Namikaze clan as well as Rakuto Senen, Sage of Six Paths. Your friend, Chuki Ichiraku, when they read the scroll they become very angry what it is written inside in it. They can't believe it what it what they just learned from the scroll. The Konoha which is considered the stronger village in the element nations, the one which they know for their caring their comrade and their loved ones that they sacrifice themselves for their loved one's safety, the one who treated everyone on the village like family, the one village no matter what happened but they will stick together helping each other when they really need help. But it was all lies. When they finished reading scroll they know something that Konoha is not the village they look up when they were youngs. This is not the village they respect when they were young. This is not the village they will do anything in order to save them. That village is nothing more than hollow to its former glory and villagers as well as ninja population as well some clans were become more and more ignorant, asshole, hypocrite, bastards and many more things. They were so angry at the villagers because those bastards just got the nerve to hurt the boy for last 12 years because he is orphan. No, they hurt him because this boy is Jinchuriki of the Kayubi, which village see him as a weapon who is submit to their will but the boy never submit to them and do whatever they want. So they beat him, torture him and don't feed him any food so that he can maintain its health. Hell they even went so far that they even sabotage its training when he try to become the ninja. Then learn that village leader is the one behind those entire things happen to the boy because he approves it. But more importantly he got banished from the village for what because he complete his mission and fear to s rank missing nins will come after them to get the boy. They all come out from their thought when they see the young girl who can't read the scroll because she is not from their height while looking at them worry. She was worried because whatever they read in the scroll it made them very angry and they subconsciously release key which make her uncomfortable around them but she hold up because she have lot of training which is given by her father, mothers, brothers as well as others from the clan which is paying up the price right now. They then try to control themselves by taking few deep breaths. After some time they will able to calm down to the level so they can't hurt young girls, after that they turn their gaze towards the young man who is now standing in front of them looking at them as well. They didn't say anything for few minutes but young girls who looking all of them curiously because on her opinion they were having serious conversion in their eyes. After some time women who still have scroll in her hand as the first one broke the silent. Is it true what it written in the scroll? Asked women who hope that whatever she read in the scroll is not true because if it is true then Konoha are going to hell to pay. Man didn't say anything but after some time he takes sign and look at them and note his head. Yes, the entire thing you read in the scroll is true. Man confirms it. Konoha council just banished Naruto near the five day ago but he already left the village with Hinata four days ago and right now heading towards the border between Hai no Kuni and Kaminari no Kuni and get the ship which take them to the Karakol island which is under our control right now in one week and another for reaching them to the Harjan port. Finished man then looking at young man. Son I want you go to the Karakol island with your best men's and meet up with Naruto kun and Hinata chan and bring them here. While you're doing this I want you meet you with the spy and who will see you in two week on Harjan port but he didn't tell us where he meet us, you just have to find him on your own. Remember that spy has the information regarding the missing children of the clan and civilian as well as the information on enemy base camp. Said man which young man nodding his head. You don't have to worry about it too San. I arrange my best men and leave tonight to meet up with Naruto kun and his girlfriend Hinata chan. I already have fleets on standby orders because of recent attack of pirates on city near the ocean. I take best of the ship which is fast enough to reach within 4 days or at least and don't worry about spy 2 san you know I will find him and find out who is responsible behind all these kidnapping. 
Young man said after that he left the room quickly for Caracol Island to meet up with Naruto and Hinata. Well that's taken care of all we have to do is just wait for him to come back with Naruto-kun and Hinata-chan and hope everything is just fine. Man said and then looks towards the windows where he can see the village that people doing various activity without care in the world. 2 San why Naruto ni San is banished from the Konoha? Asked young girl who looking her father to find some answer why her brother banished from the village. Man and both women looking towards the girl who was looking at them for answer. Before man can said anything women who don't have scroll in her hand answer it first. Well sweetie the thing is Naruto is banished from the Konoha because he hurt their precious Uchiha who leave the village to join the S rank missing nin for the power. Naruto was on the retrieval team along with his classmates and he fights him on the valley of the end. Naruto defeat the Uchiha without even showing his real strength in the fight and bring Uchiha back to the village. After some time they summon him to council chambers and banished him not because he hurt the last Uchiha of the Konoha but also there is group of S rank missing nins are after Naruto and they wanted to save themselves from them. That's why they banished him from the village. Answer a woman who was still angry at Konoha for what they did to Naruto. When girl hear this she can't believe it what she hear. They just banished him for doing his job. They banished him because there is group is after Naruto and if he stays in the village longer then they will attack the village and kill those who get in the way to capture Naruto. They thought without him on the village those missing ninja will not attack them on the village and they will be saved from them. Don't worry sweetie, if they don't banish Naruto from the village then he will soon leave the village because from what I learned from the scroll that Naruto do lot of thing in short career as a Konoha ninja and they don't even acknowledge his work. They give all those credit to the Uchiha and think that he is the one who brought all those alliances and treaty. Naruto even saved the village from during Odo, Suna invasion but they think it was Uchiha who did it. They even stop his promotion Naruto because they thought if he promoted to Chunin then he will learn important something in future and become more and more powerful. The more powerful Naruto become it will even more difficult for them to control him. Man said to young girl because when she hears about Naruto and what they did she becomes angry. After listening her father explanations she calmed down. Sunisan really leave the village if things is going on like this. She asked in which her parents know their heads, it means that I'll spend more and more time with him and his girlfriend correct. This time they smile and again know. Great I can't wait to see them and train with them to become more and stronger. It has been two years since I see him. She was happy that she can see her brother and spend lot of time with him. She will train with him and become more powerful in future. She even wanted to help her clan and people with brother by his side. She always wanted to help him as she can but know that Naruto is more powerful than her and he will do anything in his power to help her. She even wanted to join him when he was on Konoha but Naruto stopped her and said that it was danger for her to stay in the village and tell her that if she stay with him then he have to show his real strength to the village and it will only create more problem not for him and her but all those their precious people to them which they don't want it. Due this her father makes decision that they will not come to him anymore because the more time they spend with him, the more danger from them to stay hidden in the village without attracting ANBUs. After that they leave him on the village they will only contact with each other with spy which was planted by her father and clan long ago. So what do you think honey? What will happen to the Konoha when everyone in the element nation finds out what Konoha did to the Naruto and more specifically when all those allies find out what they did to their hero? Asked first women to her husband who then think about it what will happen to village after what they done. After think about her few minutes he then look over to the first women. Well if everyone village find out what happened then they will break their alliance and treaty with the Konoha and fire Daimyo for what they done to their village hero. They will become weak in future in future without their allies backing them up and lose lot of amount of client if you ask me and because of that they will no longer consider them as the strongest village in the element nations. I even bet that Orochimaru will launch some attack in near future to destroy the Konoha, even Iwa is also joining with him. But that will not happen right now. If my assumption was right then it will happen in around 10 years from now. Man answer her wife question. When everyone hears his answer they will agree with him because Konoha doesn't even know how royally up situation is going to happen in near future. 
They not only banished Naruto but also they are also losing their allies in future because whenever Naruto is out of the village he always left lot of influence on clients and because of him all of those clients are allied with Konoha and even set up the treaty with him but Konoha think that they get all those treaty and allies with Uchiha Sasuke. You are right honey, it is most like happen what you said. I even bet that council is going to do very stupid move which would bite their ass in near future. First women said, but suddenly she got punch on her head by second women who looking at her angry. Will you control your mouth? There is still young girl present in here. Second women said in angrily to other women. First women rub her head with her right hand while closing her left eye and while her tongue slightly out of her mouth and said one word, sorry. Girl and man both laugh at the duo for their behavior. Soon everyone calm down and then they all move over to the office windows and looking over the village. They can't wait to see the Naruto and Hinata. One week on Caracol Island. Naruto and Hinata along with one more person with them are wearing the white clock to cover their body and their face were covered by the hoods so people can't identify them even if they want to see their face. They were all present on the deck because few minutes ago captain announces that they near the Caracol Island. When they hear this they rush to the deck to see what island look like because for past week they hear from the crew that island is beautiful than the other island in western continent. They also find out that this island is present between the Uzu no Kuni, land of Whirlpool, and western continent. They also hear it from the crew that this island is hold the lifeline between the east and west part of the continent. They also find out that whoever have the control of this island he, she held lot of power in ocean than any other group because whenever ship wants to travel from the east to west side of the continent they have to stop in this island for resupply. When they were near the island they find out they were lot of ships surrounding the island. Those ships were not any kind of normal ship, those were the warships. Those warships are even far advanced than the warship on Element Nations. Soon they were arrived at the dock where they see many civilian ships which unloading passenger and they're all the supplies and some warships are also there for supplies. When they arrive they leave the ship with others people who were traveling with them on the ship because they don't know where they have to go so they follow those people. Soon they arrive at checkpoint and find that there were lot of security guards were present there. They see that half of them were the samurai while rests of them are the ninja. The samurai are all dressed in black uniform under their samurai armor. Samurai armor consists where the segmented plate armor that covers the shoulders, stomach and lower back, upper back, lower sides and things. Their armor appears to be heavy but it is not because they were seals placed on the armor for weight and the hardening to strength the armor to provide better defense. What caught in their eyes was dressed in two type of armor. Those were silver and gold. Those who wear silver are called low ranking officers while golden armor is the senior officers. The ninja are all dressed in dark purple long sleeve shirts and anbu pant with kanai pouch strapped around their thigh, a red flak jacket which contains three ninja pouches on each side of the a neck guard, extra padding over the shoulders provide extra protection, metal guards, and gloves, three ninja pouches on their back waist and zipper down the middle. Imagine Konoha flak jacket but in red in color without Uzushigakur symbol on their back. Every one of them has katana on their back. Welcome to the Karakul Island. Please remove your hoods, shows your identification ID cards, tell your name and state your business in here. Asked one ninja to Naruto group. Naruto and others nod their heads and shows their ID cards, after that Naruto remove his hood first soon followed by the Hinata and lastly by the women who was around 15. She is beautiful and exotic women who had long blonde hair slightly more pale than Naruto and tied back in ponytail she had cat-like slit eyes with a perfect shade of sky blue, her body is still covered in white clock which don't show anything what she wearing inside it. Naruto come forward and bow his head slightly then look at the ninja for answering his question, good day sir. My name Naruto Uzumaki and these are my friend Hinata Hayuga, Naruto pointing at Hinata who is nod his head, and Yugito ni. Then pointing at Yugito who also nod his head, we're from the element nations, we're here to meet up with someone from our family member who lives in her for long time. Answered Naruto to which got ninja as well as some more guards curious as well. Oh, who are they, can you tell their name? Ninja asking question to Naruto. He asking him this question because it very uncommon from them people come from the element nation to visit here because who on his right mind come here in all the place in the western continent who is currently state in war since the Rakuto Senan. 
Before Naruto answered his question there is another voice cut him. That would be me. Answer come behind the ninja. All of them look at who said that and find that there is young man who is look like standing in there. He is around 16 or 17 who had raven hair which was pulled back in a low ponytail and jaw length bangs framing either side of his faces, he has black onyx eyes which radiating lot of power in them. He dress same as ninja and also wear the black trench coat with red flames around the bottom. Hello Naruto kun. Said man with small smile. Hello Itachi ni san. Reply Naruto. The end. Now we will see you in the next video.